is invisible, but uh, don't let that fool you. He is a very, very high-level lance player, and that's why I brought Albert to my stream. Hello, Albert. How are you? Hi, I'm very good. Uh, thank you so much. Super excited to uh, to play some some of my favorite deck uh, in Legacy. Yeah, for, for sure, because you've basically, as I as I uh, mentioned in the Facebook ad, you basically devoted your whole adulthood to to play this deck. Can you? Talk a little bit about, you know, choosing one deck and uh, instead of having like 10 different decks that you're switching around. What's the advantages? What's the, maybe the disadvantages? And yeah, just yeah. Uh, can, can you share a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. So, um, well, so basically most of my kind of above 30s, <laughs> I've been dedicating to playing lands, uh, as you wrote. Uh, and before that kind of... Uh, I had I was fairly successful like in my mid twenties maybe with playing Storm. Back then I also only played one deck as you you probably remember. Yeah, I think I remember you as like yeah this this the crazy suite with the Storm deck at the yeah. local game store. Yeah. Uh, and then I started winning quite a lot and starting buying more uh, with like store credits, starting buying a Legacy collection, and then I started switching deck every week. And just went from you know uh, winning a lot to losing a lot basically. So for some years I was just this you know guy who went three two or two three like missed the fifty percent or forty nine percent or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I moved to London and didn't play any Magic for like a couple of years because I was just working uh, too much. Uh, and then when <laughs> I moved <laughs> moved back I wanted to start playing again, but then. Uh, we only kind of played online, like most of my friends, like you and others, had stopped going to the like local game store and started playing online instead. Yeah. Uh, so I did that and, and uh, bought Storm and played exclusively Storm for some years. But then, you probably remember this, was this deck with Deathra Charman, Him to Torak, Snap Ooh, yeah, baby. Age. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah, those were the days. <laughs> those were the days, yeah. So that deck just <laughs> crushed me. I mean, I... I just couldn't win against it with when they had force of will and him it was just yeah. such a beating um so i didn't really like that i started switching deck on decks online again i just became this 50 50 player again uh, and then i saw like uh, someone on facebook said he wanted to trade a tabernacle um All right. in paper and i had some power i had like so a mox and, and some other stuff so so i man i met with him and actually managed to trade it and okay. Then I said, okay. Now I will just dedicate my like. I will focus on legacy, and I will just because at that time I was also thinking if I should go into vintage. Uh, but yeah. I said, okay, no, I will only play legacy, and I will only play this deck. Um, that was kind of what? 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 I mean, so that card could just have been uh, like a random expensive card. I mean, what made you fall yeah. in love with that? Well, there uh, was a card? couple of things. So first of all, it was very good against the uh, Hum to Torak Death Rush on deck. <laughs> Okay. Uh, because, like, uh, like everything they did was kind of like the him. We don't care about him to Torak, right? Because we we have life from the loam. So if, if we discard some lands, doesn't really matter. Or if we discard For punishing sure. fire, or, punishing fire, yeah. Um, and we don't really care about the counter spells either. They had kind of a weak mana base, uh, so it was just like bad. And they didn't have much answers to merit ledge either. So they were kind of just weak towards lands, I think. So right. that was kind of my, and the second best deck at that time was Grixis Delvers, which was also kind of a, a really good matchup for, for lands. So there were some, it was not only just the Tabernacle, I had some thinking when, when I picked the deck. Yeah. Um, but then I just really, really enjoyed it. I mean, it's very, uh, it's very kind of, it's very deep. It, 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 I mean, it can be a bit linear, but, but it's also non-linear in a sense. You have many different roles. Uh, and I was losing a lot in the beginning because I didn't really know. Like, for example, I would wasteland my Delver opponent when they were attacking me with Tarmogoyfs and just die. Yeah, for like sure. I, I, would, I would choose like the wrong approach. Uh, and it took me like six months before I actually started winning, like consistently winning with the deck. Um, but that was the time you actually played well, or was yeah. it like some metagame situations that? I mean, Deathrite got banned at some point here, right? Yeah, and that was bad for for Lance. Yeah, I would say so. So, so uh, because I mean, well, 
I st I think I started playing better. So uh, so I I mean I started watching streams of of good lands players, um, so, and and you know I would kind of watch like the recordings of the stream and I would start thinking, okay, how how would I play in this situation? And I, and I noticed yeah. that I would do kind of similar things. Uh, so so I I definitely know that I would cho would start choosing better lines. Um, that was that was one of the reason. Uh, but. But yeah, and then I also started leveling up. I mean, I, I've also done a lot of coaching with you. That was around the same time. That was kind of when I started winning with the deck. And then I said, okay, now I want to be really good yeah. with it. So we did a lot of... Uh, uh, yeah, as far as I remember, so I couldn't really bring you anything when it came to land specifically. Maybe some like philosophy on how to approach sideboarding and how mm -hmm. to choose your like let's say priorities but that's actually it was mostly like fundamentals that i could help you out with it wasn't really land specific like technical stuff uh yeah i think it was yes i agree it was a lot of fundamentals but also like we also did a lot of like matchup training i remember like i struggled with death and taxes and we played that uh yeah. but but it was it was a little bit of, of, of a mixture of both but kind of what I, what I, um, sorry to, to answer your original question because I was drifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, oh, it's what, it's super exciting. <laughs> what um, my kind of idea why I think because after that, Lancers actually they got worse for like during Oko and Dread or Arcanist. Like I think Lance were actually relative to the power level of Legacy got worse, but I started yeah. doing better uh, because. And and it's because I got better, but also because Lance is the type of deck that if you, it's like a niche deck, right? It's like three percent of the meta. Maybe when it's really good, it's five six percent yeah. of the meta. Yeah. Um. So it, and I thought, okay, if I if I um just play this, mean that this means I will have an edge against my opponent because I will be in situations that are kind of unique. First of all, like yeah. Tabernacle is a unique card. Uh, and, and so I will be in situations where I have been there before, but my opponent might not, or maybe that's not definitely as... that's definitely true. I mean, that's partially why you're here today because I really want to learn this deck from yeah. this side of the table. I've been playing against it for many many years, but I can't say that I'm an expert on how to uh, exploit the the different weaknesses, etc. So mm. that's also something I'm very um, curious about curious about today. But I think that's a very good point. I had another guest at some point who said, or maybe, yeah, maybe, oh, maybe it wasn't a guest, maybe it was just some conversation, but they basically said, I'll play this deck through thick and thin, and then hope mm -hmm. that I can kind of elevate the power level of the deck, thanks to my knowledge, and I think that's basically what you have done with this deck, because you've played it in good times, you've played it in bad times, mm -hmm. but you just kept studying the deck. You mm -hmm. didn't just play for with no purpose, you studied the deck, and you poured a lot of resources into becoming um, good with it. So I think that's what pay, that's what's paying off right now. And I actually think you you did a good job of going from, let's say, a nobody to being a land specialist. Everybody knows that. It's not within the legacy community. I, mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty impressive um, overall. I really like your like story arc. I, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could dedicate myself to one deck. Um, that's that's just not that's just not possible. But I can definitely see the you're 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 reaping the rewards. I would say. Yes, I think so as well. I mean, it 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 has really paid off. I mean, it's like it is good good and bad. I mean, there's also that when I'm playing against someone, they know I'm on lands, right? So right. sometimes it feels like they always have the one brazen borrower uh, for my <laughs> for my merit ledge. Yeah. And I I don't know if that's you know, if that would be different if I played on on a different account, or if that's just what Delver does, always find find their their one off. I think it's a combination. I mean, they're really good at finding their one offs. So so it's not. It's yeah, not that's off. actually. I actually played against a guy recently. I'm not gonna name drop anyone here, but they mm -hmm. changed account to play their legacy deck to kind of you know next level the opposition. Mm -hmm. But in reality, not that many opening hands are either keep i mean there are some but the the edge from you know googling your opponent is way smaller than i mean it's worth it to create a new account do this and that to kind of yeah um 
But, yeah, but, I also but, think I also think you. Yeah, I agree. I also think you shouldn't overthink these things. Like, if if your opponent has Dragon Raid Chandler and they ponder, I mean, they see so many cards. It's like, yeah, I I I, I don't think they need to to mulligan for the one-off bounce. I mean, exactly. It's not, it's not going to be a Lots win. of legacy, yeah, like cantrips, you'll keep any land spell yeah. reasonable mixed hand and then just play from there and then, yeah, yeah I, I think that's a good point not to, not I mean, to overthink for, for it. for lands, it might be different. Like, we have some, like, you know, we have some cards that are, we don't have any count cantrips uh, for, for one. Uh, and uh, so we're very dependent on our opening hand. Yeah. Um, and we were, like, before when we played Gamble, I think we were more non-linear than now. Like, what you can see here is we, like, we need we need a hand with Acceleration and Life from the Loam or Ursa Saga. Those are kind of, that, that, yeah. that, that, that's what we, and if we don't have that, we, we need to mulligan, I think. Unless we're pretty, we know. I mean, yeah. that's cool because I'm not a very good mulligan player in general. So okay. when you when you say we need this, uh, we need X, Y, or C to keep an opening hand, and then after that you say, I think that's why Magic is the greatest game of all time. Because when an expert, uh, you can't really say it with 100% certainty. We will get into tough situations where even the expert will be in doubt. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's just why Magic is a great game. Um, yeah, yeah, you can't you can't only make rules, right? Because that that's it, it's too complex too complex to. It 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 uh, really is. Um, I want to get a bit into today's list. I want to yeah. ask you about some choices. How do you feel about going to the deck tech? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, looking at this deck, I mean, I play a lot of vintage, so I want to I want to touch on this card first. Yeah. Versus Saga and your little toolbox here. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about lands before Saga and lands with Ursa Saga? Yeah. So, this. So first of all, this card I think is the most powerful. Uh, card that's been printed for lands since I don't know since exploration. I mean, it is it is so much more powerful than than the rest of the deck in my opinion. I mean, if you think about it, like before we played Field of the Dead, so yeah. Field of the Dead that required seven lands, right? Yeah. This requires three lands, yeah. like one land and a mox and this. So yeah. th it's two mana to activate and you're going. Yeah. It, it's it's a difference of, of four cards, right? So it's like, an, a, it's better than an Ancestral Recall, better than Field of the Dead, which was one of the best uh, card. <laughs> it was one of yeah, the that, best. Yeah, that, like, that game is powerful against a lot of strategies. And this is yeah. the same, it's just faster. It's Plus, that, yeah, exactly. it gives you a toolbox. Yeah, it gives you a toolbox. And, and once the, those tools were, were kind of um, tuned, it, like, for example, if you start in the sideboard, you have Tron Foundry, which is like, Doomsday was ex extremely hard matchup before, uh, but now we have this like endurance on a stick. So if we just play out, er, like if we play Mox Diamond, Ursa Saga, Spear of Resistance, say, I feel I can I can can almost not lose against Doomsday. Yeah. Yeah. We will have like two five fives on turn three, and this. So like like how how can they ever beat that and the spear like like it feels incredibly powerful and it solves like just one card and then you you have four four ways to find it uh, and then yeah, it's definitely the... just some deck deck efficiency like when you play let's say birthing pot before it was banned in modern then you could play these one of creatures that would help you a lot so you yeah. functionally would have five copies of it's the same thing right yeah it, it just makes it more easily doable to make the 15 cyborg slots uh, be enough. Yeah. And then the other thing is expedition map. So expedition map, so there's a line like against control, you do saga, finds map, finds another saga. So you yeah. don't really need life from the loam a lot of the time. Right. Ex exploration and saga is enough because you you just make constructs, then, then find a map and find, and you know, continue making constructs. Um, yeah, so when grinding is the name of the game, that's like your saga target. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the spell bomb, which is there for... It's a bad card, but it's there for um, Sanctum Prelate. Right. So it could be the third Punishing Fire, but I think uh, I think this is better in the sense that now you can find... 
Yeah. Uh, you can find it of Saga and, and kill the prelate, and it, Mother of Runes cannot protect it either, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, in a, in a world of Ursa Saga, you can get away with playing some, let's say, bad cards on the surface, but the yeah. flexibility is just worth it over enough games. Is my yeah. That's my experience from uh, Vintage and Modern, anyway. Yeah. And then Shadow Spear, that was the next one. That was a big one, <laughs> I mean, because it's kind of... I didn't play that in the beginning, and but it, it's incredibly strong. So first of all, it uh, uh, yeah sure gives li- life links, so you can raise like even merc tides um, yep. in game one, uh, and then this activated ability is very good. So you can now k- destroy color complete, for example. Uh, oh yeah, lose indestructible. Yeah, cool. So you give that, and then you can besage you the color complete. Uh, the other one is trample. So against yep. something like eight cost, eight cost was. Uh, I mean, it's still a pretty hard matchup, but it was a really hard one because they have Psy. So yeah. they just make constructs and you can't really attack through that. But now, you know, you get li- Trample and Lifely. Well, I guess Trample is the big one. So you can just swing. doesn't matter if they block. Uh, they die yeah. anyway, kind of. That's uh, pretty insane, actually. To see a card like this, th- when this card was printed, yeah. it wasn't really intended to be part of a Ursa Saga package. <laughs> no. but, but now it's just... Yeah, I mean, it's just too little of a cost to uh, to say no to. Yeah. And then you have a uh, Pithing Needle, which, I mean, primarily, <laughs> like, either it wins the game, like, typically, if your opponent forgets to fetch in response to the third chapter, they will just... I mean, in, in a deck like Lance, who plays Richard and Port and Wasteland, if, 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 if you ever <laughs> get to the third chapter and your opponent doesn't fetch, I mean... You get like two lands right there, one or two lands, and and then you, I mean, it it won me so many games, but it's really there, I guess, for like yeah. planeswalkers, uh, right? Like yeah, games. middle will always find good use. Um, yeah, I think if, that also comes with knowledge of the format and stuff like that. I have, do you ever name any cards that's also in your own deck? I mean, I would guess Wasteland is named sometimes. Uh, I mean, it's pretty common against Delver actually. So, so what's funny, Delver now, their wastelands is better than than ours, which is kind of weird if you think about it. But they, they are so low curve now. They play, you know, yeah. so many one drops, especially with Ragavan, because Ragavan was so good against wasteland. Uh, he just negated that. I mean, they got oh, the, sure. the treasure. So, uh, so I would just, if I had like a saga hand, I would just play out needle naming wasteland. Yeah, for sure. And, and then just go make constructs. We have a greeting from the chat. I don't know how you to say it in English. Roncor? It's the, um, oh, it's the Spanish L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-L-
for some okay. reason. I hope yeah. we get to do that, and I, I hope our opponent will uh, comment on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but another thing, uh, like, copy Richard and port is a very common line against, like, control. Yeah. It's like the Snapcast image of the deck, really, because, you know, you can also copy Blast Zone to get it to zero counters and, and destroy, like, Ooh, okay. tokens. That's uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, so I want to keep an eye out for for that one. I think it's boring if we just make a twenty twenty token and attack. I want to do yeah. some fancy things yeah, today with the yeah. thespian stage. That's uh, on my bucket list. <laughs> uh, then what else? We have Busejo. It's another new new, yeah. new card. It's not as powerful as Ursa Saga for sure, but it's right. really really like the, it's really good. So first of all, it's really good in the mirror because we play almost no lands with basic land types. So it, right. So and it destroys everything. Like exploration mocks all the lands. Um, you know, Sylvan Library. If someone still plays that. Yeah. Um, so, but it's also just it answers problematic stuff like Blood Moon, Back to Basics, Shark Typhoon. Like all these things that people used to play to to hate on lands. Yeah. From f fair decks. Like I had real problems winning against Back to Basics or Blood Moon from a Force of Will deck. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's just, you know, if they protected, they could just pr play like protect the queen a little bit, and and then my deck just didn't do anything. Right. So now we have this, and we also have uh, expedition map. So we have like Saga can find this, can then destroy. Yeah, the lots deck. of ways to get to this effect, and then yeah. you can recur it with Loam, and it answers a lot of stuff post sideboard. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. Yeah, and it also works really good with Spear, right? So a common line against Show and Tell is you let Show and Tell resolve, then you put in a Spear, uh -huh. and then they can't cast Emrakul, uh -huh. even if they have Omniscious, and then you can do this on Omniscious. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's pretty nice. We have a couple of questions, Albert, from yeah. the from the chat. Yeah. Oh, or maybe it's just one. Did Ellie talk about going back to only three Dark Depths? No, he didn't. But he, he will now. Well, I yeah, assume it's for the deck at some point. Well, I used to play two. Okay, uh, so talk so... about what you would choose four, okay. three, and two. Okay, so well, four I haven't played since forever. I think there's not. Room. Like, maybe like... maybe that's what the question means. Maybe the question is, why did you go to three from two? Maybe I just misunderstood. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, that because I so I used to play two Elvish Reclaimer, and right. then o only two Dark Depths and three Thespian Stage. Yeah. Uh, and the reason is that I found that uh, my Merit Lage was uh, being bounced all the time. Yeah. So I didn't really want that to be my plan A. I wanted that to be my plan B against Delver. Uh -huh. uh, so my plan A was like the creatures uh, together with the constructs. Um, but then a couple of things happened. So last showcase challenge, which which was last weekend, uh, the breakout deck was Moonstompy, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and against that matchup, you really want Dark Depths. Like, because... The way that works is that they will uh, uh, they will cast Blood Moon and then you yep. will put in Dark Depths with zero counters yep. and then destroy Blood Moon. And so once right you kill there. the moon, this triggers and yeah. you get the token. Yeah. So th so, so you want to draw this match? Let's call it naturally more often. Where yeah. if you if you have to resolve Reclaimer, you have to activate. It has to yeah. survive stuff like this. It's yeah, more exactly. like it's slower to get to this point. It's so slower to get and they also more play, often. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they also play dead gone now. So so you don't want to give them a lot of time. Yeah. So it's uh, slower and it's less consistent because they have removal for the elf. And they have uh, yeah, and they also have bounce for the merit ledge. So if you let them, yes, like you really want to do it. To oh right, the theme three are going to bounce. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they also have Chalice of the Void, so the Elf is not that reliable either. Yeah, okay, uh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, uh, the, so the, uh, yeah. let's call it. Yeah, the regulars are the Wastelands and the Port. You want to keep your opponent's mana under control. I think mm -hmm. I can get behind these pretty. And then Mox Diamond is like your acceleration. Yeah, I that's imagine the most hands got a, lo a bit worse since Prismatic ending. This is actually right. Like now I kind of I see it almost as a lotus lotus pet. Like <laughs> I sometimes keep it keep it in hand until I need to use it against control yeah. because 
um, it's such a pain. And I think control players do this too little. They should they should ending the mocks uh, more more often than they do actually. That's good to hear. That's good for my confidence. I always kill the mocks on the spot because yeah. I'm a card advantage player. So if you discard a card and I get to kill it, kill this card, mm, yeah. that's like one mana him to Torek. What's not to like? Yeah, that's one thing. And and also I have so few colored sources. Yeah. Right? I play like eleven outside the moxes, so so it's easy to get mana screwed. Yeah. Um, and and uh, the other thing is, if you look here, I don't really have much targets except mox time. Like I cut all the Valakut exploration, Sylvan libraries, and all those. Uh, so I don't really see if you don't take the mox, what are you going to take? Like a construct? Then I think you're losing. If you use yeah, it's usually too late. Yeah. Uh, so if I were a control player, I would take the Mox and then uh, kind of race to get Teferi into play, because Teferi is so good against Ursa Saga. For sure. Such a pain, yeah. But that's good That's good to hear. So basically, you're an expert on this deck, so you o you also know how the different decks can like this. disrupt you. So you're, yeah. you're kind of giving away some... Uh, some uh, free <laughs> yeah free free advice here i, I yeah. think that's uh, that's that's pretty cool uh to round out the mana base we have the uh, maze of ifs yeah i mean probably pretty self-explanatory can you do anything cool with maze of it in your own deck or was that only for like knight of the reliquary decks back in the day no it's pretty common to to maze your own dark depths right especially against something like delver because they have so many flyers so you attack, you get in for damage, they, oh well, yeah, they block, and then after yeah. damage you can untap, so it's kind of like a Vigilant 2020. Exactly. And if you think about, if they have like three three creatures, and you have a, um, a Maze and, and a Dark Depths, then it's much better to attack, kill one of their creatures, and bounce it, so they can swing back with the Merc Tide, because they're going to block with their Delvers, typically. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then if they just draw Wasteland, if you don't do that, they can just draw Wasteland and kill you. So yeah, the Maze of Ith, you, you have to activate on your, well, on the attack step, so any main phase Wasteland will kind of ruin your day. So yeah, get your value while you can. Um, yeah. Let's let's keep an eye out for the the Abyss mode on, uh, on, on Maze of Ith. Um, yeah. Caracas, how often does that come up? I assume it's like a niche card these days, or the situations yeah, are way more it was better, it rare. Was be better with Ragavan. It was the best yeah. card against Ragavan. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, now it's still, I mean, it's primarily for Emrakul, I guess, and Gristlebrand. Yeah. Uh, but, re re like, Reanimated, they have a new one, Archon, non legendary yeah. creature, which is such a pain. I think that's probably better against lands than, than Gristlebrand, to be honest. We can't really yeah. beat that. I mean, yeah, it depends on a lot. Usually, when Reanimator gets Grizzle Rain into play, they draw 14. They can also reanimate a new card. So yeah, that but I know what you're but, saying. But sometimes they can only draw seven if they yeah. reanimate it. But uh, so I have won quite a few games where I had Caracas yeah. and they got to draw seven. But it, yeah, for sure uh, it happens. But I don't, I don't think I ever beaten an Arc, or maybe once. Because the problem yeah, is that, 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 that card is pretty insane. Yeah, because it yeah, like yeah, yeah. And so then tabernacle. Have... I mean, probably pretty self-explanatory. It's good against weenies. You can like if you attack your opponent's mana base, it's like the perfect card to not get swarmed. I assume. Yeah, it's uh, it's really good against the yeah against all the tribal decks like all the Aether wild decks. It's it's uh, yeah. it's primarily it's not really a plague wind. It's more like uh, you know, uh, tangle yeah. wire, or you tap all the yeah, mana, you, and then, you you and make sure that what they have in play, they don't like put anything more in play. It it puts pressure on what's already in play has to win, or you win. Yeah, I guess. And it's really good with maze of it, because you get into this situ like right. in in the olden days, kind of uh, the way I beat death death and taxes was to get like. Sylvan Library into play or Valakut Expiration, like something that would give me an advantage. An, like, Value machine, yeah. Yeah, and then I just attacked their mana, like I just mm -hmm. made them so they could only have two, two or three creatures in play, and then I would just maze whatever they did, yeah. or and, and then just get one extra card every turn and win that. Yeah. Turn. Slow grind. I think it's we're much more aggressive now with Ursa Saga. Like the way I play against Death and Taxes now, it's just make constructs, like maximize Ursa Saga every turn. Uh, sure, Ursa Saga can make life very, very easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I know that from Vincent. Sometimes that's all you have to do is activate your saga a couple of times, and that's it. Yeah, and especially when you have life on the loam, like it's just, I mean, you you can just do it over and over again, and it's like, yeah, it is. And then the last card which I I play in the main, which not all of people do, is endurance. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's go for that one before we quickly go over the sideboard and then yeah. get to some games. So the way the way kind of, and this is something I started doing. I think it was this year. I kind of said, okay. Uh, I am going to. It's like a theory that I that I have that has worked out so far. I'm going to say that I will win against the fair decks uh, without help. Uh-huh. Right. So I don't need Silver Library or uh, Mulch or any anything that like a card that's good against fair but bad against unfair. I don't need any of that. So so yeah. uh, so I, I wanted to move sideboard cards into the main deck because Endurance was a sideboard card. Right. Uh, because, and then I said, okay, so either you can move the Spear of Resistance, but I think they are too bad against Delver. So Delver is still the most popular deck. So I thought, okay, Endurance, it's kind of main deck hate against Delver. Yeah. Uh, which is the best deck in the format. And then it also helps against the really unfair decks, like, it's really good against uh, Reanimator, of course, also Doomsday. And those were the only yeah. combo decks that were played in, like, January, February. Reanimate and Doomsday, they were the only decks, uh, combo decks that were played, so it made a lot of sense to move them in. Uh, right. It's also really yeah, good think... in, the, in the mirror, or against Knight of the Reliquary, it's very, very good. So, like, because it shrink, shrinks the Knight to a 2 2. So, if they attack with it, you, you can kill it with just flashing in Endurance. Yeah, I think uh, in, Endurance is the perfect way to, like, cheat on your sideboard slots in a lot of Magic formats. Yeah. Because. As you, as you said, it's it's insane against some of the strategies you're you're not really happy to face. No. But it's always more or less always just a serviceable card at the very least. Yeah. Um, I think it's very unique that way, and I yeah. really like I really like to see them in the main. Also, this the confidence from you that saying I'm going to beat these decks without like dedicated value engines because my strategy is that good. Yeah. So let me focus on these other strategies. I I, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um. And I, yeah, I hope it, I hope it pays off today in the games. Yeah. So you, you pick one sideboard card to talk about, and I pick one and ask you about afterwards. Um. Okay. I guess my favorite card, choke. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah. It's the reason I play uh, uh, Richard and Port again, because uh, that was actually cut for for some time. Whoa. Uh, okay. Uh, but I noticed that the uh, the Jessica control decks. Uh, with Hull Breacher and Days Undoing, mm-hmm. they were quite tricky, so I just wanted to choke them. Like This is kind of a, a thing with Lance, which also makes it, I think, hard maybe to play against, is that even if you have a bad matchup, like even, even if you play like a, a control deck with a lot of basics, like Miracles in the olden days, or yep. something that's naturally good against our strategy, uh, and where if, if we both get to cast our spells, they just win, because... What they do is more powerful than what we do. Even yeah. then, we can just choke them. For Fear sure. And choke, like, and, and just say, okay, we're not going to play that game at all. We, we like Neither of us are going to cast any spells. And then I'm going to resolve my lands. <laughs> or just play out my lands and win somehow. Yeah, for, for, sh- for sure. Choke is sometimes uh, three mana win the game. So yeah, let's, uh, uh, let's hope that works. I'm going to ask you about this one. Yeah. The Drop of Honey. So yeah, this is a... Re- fairly recent one it's primarily for delver because what we noticed is that uh, the way they do the way they play now like it's delver it feels different than during dread horror arcane so for dread horror arcane they had like one threat at a time which was the mm-hmm. dread horde and they would just get value from that now it's i feel like they swarm the board they go like turn yeah. one dragon ray channel or turn two delver and then you know you st- if you if you if you waste your pyroblast on delvers, you're gonna lose to the merc tide, right? They keep the merc tide for like turn four or five, and then, you know, they they exhaust all your removal, and then they play. It. So sure. in that in that situation, drop of honey is is really good, I think, because when when they go like two creatures and you maybe have a maze, then drop of honey yeah. will just like. Slowly, slowly get you there. Yeah, that's the that's the perfect scenario. That's when they have two creatures, 
and you have plenty of life and you play this one. That's yeah. the perfect scenario. But even just a scenario where they have one creature and you play this is going to be good because then it's like a time walk. Then yeah. they can choose to fight the time and apply more creatures or like bite the bullet and not play anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and there's a white copy of this card. So I have played with it like many years ago in Modern where these situations came up and... When you get two creatures, it's insane. But a lot of the time, you'll also just get one creature and some time. Yeah, and that's also really good. I agree. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I, I I have liked it. I mean, the, um, it is it is like a li like now when we play the constructs, kind of there is some anti synergy with it as well because right. we play more creatures. But but I still like it. Yeah. All right, I think I'm uh, I'm getting slowly getting my 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 head uh, in the right place, so we can uh, yeah take on some a position here. Yeah. I really hope you'll uh, you'll guide me through this. So this is the reverse coaching situation. Yeah. Uh, I really need your your help on this one because if I, if I was gonna play this deck on my own, I think I would be, yeah I wouldn't do much damage to be honest. All so right. let me just double double check your list here. I think it looks fine, yeah. All right. And yeah, yeah sorry for not sorry for not answering here in the chat. I assume we talked about the tabernacle, uh, and the elves player says it takes out the speed factor from our decks. Yeah, that's that's oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> I imagine that card is also kind of tricky to play against because then slow rolling your creatures. Yeah, I mean, that's just super complicated to play Elves versus Tabernacle, and you kind of have to either like right. go off with Crater Hoof, or at least have get to untap with a Cradle, which is probably yeah. not that easy. I think they need Cradle. Otherwise, it's... Uh, Ringo Death Star. No idea what... All right. We lost the die roll, okay. We lost the die roll. <laughs> it's too bad. Yeah. This is great, uh, event, but we have a lot of options. Well, we do have acceleration and Ursa Saga, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's definitely. Oh well, I mean, so if we kind of. So first thing, if this Mox gets countered, we we don't have any colored mana. How many uh, people counter as Mox these days? Well, what about prismatic ending? So okay, so if if. If they have prismatic ending, we're really, really, uh, like, even if they get the map, we don't do anything. Uh, if, if yeah, but we have good, we have good top decks. We can wasteland them. We can yeah, buy a lot of time. I, I, I think I would. I think this is a keep, but it's it's uh, if, if, it's one if, of if, these hands that. Do you think not, that? Do you think great. it's close? If this uh, hand is close to being a mulligan, I, no, no, I, no, no, I don't, I don't know what I did the I, last I, 20 years. I, I, don't, maybe... I, don't, <laughs> I don't think it's close. But <laughs> okay, it's, it's a risky hand. So you're, you're just saying there are pitfalls to it. But that, I mean, Yeah, I'm just saying all the ways we can lose. Pretty if they kill us turn one, it's also a bad hand. Okay, Blood Moon. So, uh, this is Painter. This must be Painter, I think. Yeah, it's so this card is... I'm playing Ursa Saga. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah, that was insane. And so if you're playing... Ursa Saga, then I hope you're not playing Blood Moon. No, no, no. This is Painter without Blood Moon, yeah. So the way I would do this, I would Mox drop Stage. We want to keep Boyuka Bog, right, if they have Engineer, Goblin Engineer. Yeah, drop, good call. Drop Stage, then Exploration, then probably... Uh, yeah, expira uh, Exploration, then Stage, and probably ba Blast Zone, I don't think. Or if... We, yeah. And map. I don't know, does it matter? Do we want to show them the wasteland? They will play around wasteland if they can anyway. Maybe it's better uh, to not show them the blast zone. I don't know what you think. Uh, blast zone. So blast zone is quite strong to beat. So if we have that in play, we can never lose to grind. Well, well yeah, we can. We need it on two counters. Yeah, we need it on two. But we... Um... I, I think I would rather slow roll the wasteland. If it if it's between these two, I would rather yeah. conceal the wasteland. But what if they go like land two one drops? So uh, you're saying then we can kind of blow them out next turn. But what would those two one drops be? Goblin welder. Well, yeah, g goblin welder. 
Yeah, I don't and uh, grindstone. But but uh, Yeah, I can see it's it's but not we, we can't really activate because next turn we're going to use map, right? So we can't really Are we are, are we supposed to... it's bad to bug here, right? I think I will keep bog because of um, Yeah, if they go two man engineer. engineer, yeah. So I would go maybe blast zone uh, yeah. and and uh, map. Okay, I mean th this is tough, and I and I definitely see the argument for a lot of these lines. What did they play counter spells? No. Okay. So this is gonna be so now we can't really lose because we can always get beside you. So it's hard to lose. Okay. Oh, okay. Great. Well, I guess if we had the wasteland there, we could wasteland in response to the trick. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So. So we get to get mileage out of yeah. both of our lanes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh wow! And we also get to kill them. No, this, we... this is this is pretty insane. Yes, yeah, so maybe would... we don't care about this saga. Yeah, I don't think we do, right? So think... re remove the yard, play wasteland pass, and then kill them yeah. end of turn. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, you because think? we need green for crop, and we need... No, wait yeah. a minute. Can't yeah. we... Can't we also wasteland? No. If we sack the bajuka bark... Yeah, but we can't tap the dark depths, right? So, if we don't... If we wasteland... Oh, we, wait a minute. If we had, like, a Javimaya, we could do that, but... No, we can't. Okay, so we, we don't wasteland, we give them one colorless mana for one turn, that's totally fine. And then... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they, like, how, ev even even if they have ensnaring bridge, we can just get beside you next turn. Maybe yeah, can... so, I don't I don't know their their deck, is it mono red? I think so, yeah. Okay, so now I, I re... okay. That's... F oh, wait. Yeah, but they, it costs them a mana to activate, right? Yeah, but... Uh, wait, but they can get Pithing Needle, wait, let me think. I think you should do it now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I can just respond to this. No, because they will respond to you. So okay, they got so a bridge fun. here. What does that even mean? So I, am I... Am I? Don't I just win? So, no, well, we, we will now... We, no, we need to draw land. The problem is, I think we should... The problem is, if we do it so, now... Yeah. Uh, if I crop, crop away the Beseju. No, the bog. Yeah. Yeah. Will, sorry. The 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 bog. I make a twenty twenty. Yeah. They will put in a snaring bridge. We need to activate the next yeah, turn. If we draw land, we can Beseju you the bridge. Okay. So if we don't what, draw what, land, what, we have to wait one here. turn. I crop away the Bajuka bog. I make. Which lands do I also lose the stage? By yeah, yeah I lose the yeah, stage. That's yeah. why. I think, and that leaves me. Yeah, I, I think so too. Any land is game over, right? Any land is game over, and if we don't draw land, we can waste land and find Besedu, right? And just kill them the turn after. Because they, they can just use monkey. So what do you mean by that? Uh, there's a comment in the chat. They can just use a monkey. Well, that's maybe a it's uh, maybe it's a spirit guide they're talking. About. I'm not sure. To do what? Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, I, I would for the extra for mana. Yeah. So, what can they do about oh, a? Oh, you mean they can get it in to play again? Yeah, that's true. They can, if we don't draw okay. land, they can, they can do it twice. Okay, that's okay. I see what you're saying. So, if they have a spirit guide, they could put it into play. But I mean. But wait, okay, we can also we can also put blast on two counters now. Is that better? And then take it a bit slower. But don't they just get some needle action going then? Yeah, then we have to wasteland. We have we can wasteland them and kill both their dudes. But what what's the probability that we draw land? It must be more than no. 50%, right? It's probably around 50, but maybe a little less. Yeah. If we draw land, 
But then again, if they have the spirit guide, can we beat that like tempo loss? But if they, if they draw land, can't we just find tabernacle then? Uh, and then eventually get this blast zone to three counters and destroy the. I still. So. Like, cause what can we other otherwise do? We can we can find Ursa Saga. I guess that's the alternative. We can find Ursa Saga, but what? But but that card doesn't like beat. No, but it doesn't put us all out of. Uh... I I I understand, but we then we can like lose in the meantime. I think we should either try and spike the land or. Kill those engineers. But yeah, I I, I would spike the land. Don't th th this decision is uh, so. If I played this on my own, I I would never have thought about Simeon Spirit Guide. I would just have gone for it here. But Simeon Spirit Guide is not going to do anything because one is summoning sick. Oh, some one is summoning sick. Okay, got it. This is this is too much. It is hard. Yeah, <laughs> dark depths. I think Dark Depths, yeah. Let's draw a land. So, so I don't even know how this works. Uh, no, what, okay. what am I tap, supposed to click? Tap, tap, and then copy Dark Depths. And then you yeah. need to keep the stage. Uh, so I have to, to press click here? Stage. Yeah. So, I mean, we could also just draw a Besage, right? Yeah, but that's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's the land. <laughs> okay, that was a land, yeah. So now you put the land in play. Uh, you, well, Am you, I supposed you, to wait? No, just attack, yeah. Can't you... Or oh, maybe you should have stop and begin... Okay, now, do uh, have, put a stop there, yeah. So... Okay, that's fine, yeah. Now we do it. Yeah, we win. Right, because one is summoning sick, because they're gonna... Yeah, besiege you, and then you... Oh, it's a legend, so it's one. <laughs> oh yeah. So we would have, yeah. we would have. Oh, we we would have without the land, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, we're so bad. Yeah, I I I've had this situation come up in uh, in vintage with, like with like Ragavan and Leovold and stuff, I, but I didn't think about it here. <laughs> I mean, th this is yeah. perfect. The perfect game one for. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Showcasing okay. how brutal Magic is of a format, uh, uh, or a game, yeah. Okay, so we won't force a wigger, right? It's yeah, I would. I would for sure. Um, uh, listen, the, the, the life might not matter. No. Because they have an infinite combo. Uh, and I think there's an like it's an argument for like they're gonna they're gonna mill us right. So there's an argument for definitely Tron Foundry because we can use it on ourselves. So you're saying if we have this in play and they try and mill us, we have a time walk, I guess. Yeah. We just don't buy. Is that worth it? I mean, we can always find it with Saga if it becomes yeah. like that. That's fair. Uh, uh, we can cut a card like Caracas. Definitely, yeah. Caracas. Well, Mesa Myth. But they are Nurse Saga deck, but yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I see. So maybe it's not. I mean, let's see. Scroll down. I think Caracas, I don't think they have any legends. So Caracas, I would definitely cut. Okay, so so Maze is better than Caracas? I think so, yeah. One of Maze is definitely... You can always okay. crop for it. Uh, then, I don't know if you really want all Endurance. I mean, the only thing Endurance do is the same as Tron Foundry. Um, uh, I guess it's a, it's a little bit good against like Goblin Welder, but... Uh, yeah, I think en Endurance is okay. It's also like the green count for Vigor and stuff. It's it's okay. It's yeah. not terrible. It's what, not great. What, what about the uh, Drop of Honey? Mm, drop what? of Honey. Is this, is this an 8 welder deck? Yeah, it is, yeah. So right now we have I think these. Drop of Honey is pretty good. Drop of Honey could be okay. Do you like that Maze of it? I really think it's super situational. Yeah, you can, you can cut that if you want. I mean, I also think you could bring in Pyroblast. They're gonna say yeah, that. but that's like, let's see if they have Pyroblast. But they, they have Pyroblast. It's a yeah, but let's see if they like, go for that in this matchup. They will Can't they it. board him out or something? Yeah, they can, and say white with Painter. Uh, but my experience is they always say blue. But, so... Uh, 
How do you feel about submitting this and then reevaluate for yeah, game can, three? We can do, yeah. But I, I would probably shave some endurance for, for one, one blast, maybe. But yeah. yeah, this is fine. I mean, you can also bring in spear. It's better on the play. Uh, but it can yeah. be really awkward for them. Resistance on the draws. I'm not okay. too... This, if this had a colored source, I would might consider keeping it. Yeah. Because uh, you can needle. Needle is so good. But this for is sure. a milligan for sure. Cause we can't, yeah. The milligan. The Swedish milligan. This hand is an Ursa Saga hand. Uh, well, or a turn three, I guess. Yeah. I would keep this. Uh, I put think. Back. I was thinking put back diamond. Yeah, I think that's a good call because uh, if we yeah, have a to lot diamond, of, a lot of the drop. time for this, I I, I put back uh, a land and then and then gets mana screwed. So I think a diamond I think or a land. I think a lot of cube with Mox Diamond, and I've just learned that. Sometimes just playing one land like consistently, oh. yeah, it's just better than the initial um, ramp if you can't really you know take advantage of it. Yeah. Okay, there. That would have been good with Mox Diamond. For sure, that uh, would have been insane. So this is actually a bit of a problem because it's gonna negate our force of vigor. Mm -hmm. How would you ask to go four as go? But it is. Like, if they go now turn two, like a painter. Yeah, then it can become uh, tricky. Awkward. Goblin Valley. It can become story. tricky. Who oh, Ancient Tomb. I remember you played that card as well at some point. Yeah. We cut it for Yavimaya. Yeah. Because it's kind of the right. same for us. Blue, right? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, yeah you, you, you sure did. Uh, okay, so now. We just take the turn, right? Uh, yeah, we don't do anything. We could wasteland and, and crop for a tabernacle. I don't think. I definitely think we. Sh maybe well, we're we just should... supposed to port that yeah, land. Yeah, that's what and... I thought. Yeah, maybe we. Yeah, let's do that. Support. So I like. I, that. I, I like this. I mean, it's. The same as Wasteland, except we get to keep our mana source around. Yeah. Ooh, the champ. So we have to do something here, right? Yeah, I would... Yeah. Do you crop for a Wasteland, then? Or do you crop... Wait, or do you crop for Tabernacle? I really like the sound of Tabernacle. Yeah, let's do that, then. It definitely. Let's happens. prolong the game! Be the yeah. prison deck! I always yeah. want it! Yeah. But you see that You're up, buddy. the blasts are pretty good. If this is how they, they play, because then you have a one mana destroy anything, right? Even their land. Yeah, yeah for I sure. I think that's probably better than endurance. Let's see if endurance Oh my god. Okay, but now they Okay, so they That yeah, mocks they can pay. That mocks, man. If we can just draw mocks. Okay, so this is fine. So they, I mean, this strategy from our opponent is not going to be that good because we have life from the loam. So it's going after our lands. Mm -hmm. Which land do you want to play out here? Definitely. Stage? You play, no, you have to play out Wasteland, right? The problem is, if they have one more mana, they can kill us, <laughs> right? Uh, no, they can't. Yeah, they can. Uh oh, so no. you're saying maybe maybe kill... They didn't play a land, so kill yeah. this now is good? Yeah, we do. They that, yeah. They missed their land drop, I just yeah. noticed. So, I mean, so, the chip damage here doesn't matter. If th no. This should represent, like, hopefully more than a time walk, if that makes sense. Yeah. So we waste a turn, but hopefully we waste more than... Yeah, that's how you play if you're a champ. That's okay. a good draw. So now... <laughs> yeah, okay, so now that's this the is, is We need to kill that with endurance. But it's going to be tricky without the mocks. Yeah. Yeah, we also have uh, two well, punishing fires in the deck and a spell bomb. Right. Okay, and now we have a dark depths. So that's good. So I would play this and then lo probably loan back the lands. Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? Yeah. 
But we probably shouldn't dredge loam, right? Because there's nothing... We, we, we need an we actual card from our deck. We need a Mox Diamond. Yeah. So we can cast Endurance. Maybe maybe they didn't draw this one. Maybe they um, slow roll it because... No, why would it's, they do that? Um, because if they play it out and I Wasteland, then they can get kind of locked. But maybe that's not the case, actually. Yeah, we, maybe. Because... No, I think I think they drew it. Actually, yeah. But why, they drew it. Why, because... why? Why? Why did? Okay, yeah, they had to do all that. Okay, this makes. Yeah, they had to do destroy the tabernacle, or they couldn't cast the magus, right? Yeah, that makes. You could have responded to the second one with the force of vigor. The second one. So they they play magus and ursa saga. That's interesting. So in this case, the Blast would be really good as well, right? Because we can destroy the Magus. Yeah, that's an interesting meta adjustment. Do you think this is like a one-of and it's li this is like a recruiter deck? I'm, yeah, I'm not could, familiar yeah. with this at all. Yeah. So I don't want to overreact to the Magus. No. Um, yeah, this is bad. We don't dredge. We draw... Okay, that's... I would play out Wasteland, probably. But don't we just... Lose. No, we don't lose because we can we can endure yeah. it ourselves uh, and we can also destroy it really depends on how he maybe we're supposed to endurance them uh, why are they changing those two because they're going to activate and then in response to the activation do that thing again so next turn okay. they're going to activate and then I think the okay. uh, so maybe let this happen and then respond yeah. to the next action. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's 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 tricky. Also, they don't have the three mana right now. They do now. So. But now I think they will just act when. Ever yeah. we do something. Yeah, they will do it in our upkeep. So then we can't cast Force of Wigger for free. But we can cast Endurance. But the problem with Endurance is that's our way to get rid of the Magus. But. I think we might have to. So yeah, now they're gonna do that. Activate and then they respond, and then I have to endurance pitch vigor. But maybe we can do. We can endurance them, or we can uh, endurance. I think it's better to do. It. Then we get rid of this pain of a good. They don't have the combo. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, endurance now. Then yeah. Uh, pitch vigor. Yeah, definitely, because we need to find the dark depths. And now we all <laughs> we all we have to do is draw uh, punishing fire, right? Because then we're gonna win. Really fascinating game so far. Yeah, I agree. There's a comment in the chat, and that's just yeah. that's basically. So so th is this like your everyday lance match? I I feel like my I mind is already blown. Th this this uh, punishing fire. Come on, don't play out that. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a professional lintage player. Yeah, I know about this. Uh, play out the uh, tabernacle, I think. Yeah. So... so the annoying thing is that their grindstone stayed. Yeah, grindstone is here. But at least I agree. We did get the. Uh... And we have. Do you remember? One... Uh, do you remember Stefan from uh, Faust? Yeah. Yeah, so he, he says, welding bag in response, nice call by Albert. Yeah, Albert's a e legacy expert. <laughs> While uh, Stefan was uh, busy, you know, growing up, um, yeah, exactly. Albert was busy uh, perfecting Lance. Yeah. Uh, I would, I mean, we, we might as well, yeah. yeah, no, we don't want to crop now. Oh boy, it's also Karn deck. That card is insane. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think... Okay, this... This makes it hard. This is such a good card against lands. Yeah, that that, that card is uh, liquid metal coating. Okay, that's fine. I think yeah, I would just not do it now. Okay, that's not. I think now it's too late. They're gonna attack us down to two, and then we're dead. Yeah. All right, oh, let's no, go no, again. No, three. Absolutely not. Ah. Ah, you. That's uh. That's my. That's my. That's my bad. I mean. I'm always we, up for. Uh, we we, uh, we could talk, block. Talk we could kill, uh, just kill, made a kill one, block one. So we could actually, if we drew punishing fire next turn, we would still get it. But they could just get the snaring bridge, and then I think it's. Also, 
if they have a ballista we're dead they can also make the grindstone into a creature and attack us to one yeah that's true yeah okay we were dead yeah um they they can do a lot of stuff to shorten the okay. clock so the i would i would probably keep the but just remember these cards are only good if they have a painter in play yeah but I mean, same with the this. This card is decent against their eight welders. If they yeah. play the two mana welder out, and we play this, the engineer, and we play this one, we kind of countered it, and this is a body to pressure their life total or pressure Karn. I mean, maybe I, I maybe you wanna cut like I mean, you could cut the. Uh, uh, I mean, there are things we can cut for one or two blows. Like I, okay. I you. Let's look at our lands, for example. If you, how many lands can you go down to in this deck 30, generally? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. You never go okay. Down. Well, so there are two, uh, but I don't think you really. Maybe the Ursa Saga, but not really. I mean, mm. yeah. Uh, maybe the Tron Foundry then, if you don't want to cut the or one endurance. I think one Pyroblast is fine. We can also cut one of each if that makes you happy. Like yeah. these two for two. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because we can even get like corns. I think pyroblasts is it's not it's not the worst. Pyroblasts is okay. They're going to have painter in play one point unless they're dead on turn two. Like that's what they're. Yeah, dead. I mean, I yeah maybe for like the majority of games. I think there are also some grindy games where neither deck functions perfectly. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, I I would uh, go be fetch a basic forest and then exploration and then port probably. So you're saying slow roll the diamond? I like that a lot. Yeah, I don't really see why we because we don't really know what we want to discard, right? We don't want to yeah. discard. We don't really want to discard any of our lands. That's the problem. So yeah, we. We need more information about how the game plays out before we take the decision, right? Yeah. So you're saying play out port because if they know yeah, about Wasteland, yeah. they might change their play, so conceal yeah. information? Yeah. Yeah. And we don't want to play out Dark Depths, right? Because if they have the Magus... Like, a, a, a way I see winning this is they go Magus, we play Dark Depths, Mox, and then kill the Magus when they attack. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the professional vintage player should be allowed to play fast bond over exploration. Actually, yeah. both of those cards are as unplayable in vintage. But yeah, I mean, fast bond has been good historically, no doubt. Yeah. So if he has can draw crop rotation, we should probably win now. Tabernacle, that's interesting. Oh my god. I would probably just play Wasteland Go here. So no option to end step endurance because we want to tab. Uh, yeah, we don't what's it called? endurance. Uh, yeah, we don't want to cast endurance. So we upkeep, tap the mountain, and just play it slow. Yeah, I would tap them out with the forest probably. Because if they right. are a saga, we can we can uh, steal a mana. Steal a mana. Robbery yeah. at broad daylight. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that makes sense. They didn't have a play turn one, and we port them so they don't have a play turn two. That's normal, right? Yeah. But I wonder if... Oh, Ooh, baby. Yeah, jackpot. Okay. Yeah. Kill the land. Play Mox Pitch Tabernacle, probably. They didn't even float mana. But if they did, we would go to second main phase. Just some small yeah. thing here. And then you keep the port up, right? So you tap Mox and that, yeah. Mm. And then you play out your... Fetch and your wasteland. This is my favorite games. I love these <laughs> games. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah. How come? How come? I mean, do you like to see your opponent suffer? Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. You, no, no, no. You should fetch then. Keep wasteland up in case. Oh, they the have, same uh, logic saga. as last yeah. time. Yeah. Got it. Because if they have Ursa Saga, we negate yeah. the one mana, and exactly. since we have loam going, we can just fetch. We don't need like. Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that's the brainstorm player hanging onto the fetch line. Yeah, because if you, but, I but, mean, but if, it's what, just what a if they had Ursa Saga Needle Wasteland, that would have. Been... Oh, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> then I would be embarrassed. Um, so do you thin? 
I I would fetch now, right? Because we what if we dredge both tigers? We only have two more fetchables. So might as well get the value out. Look at the mismatch here. Yeah. Perfect uh perfect set of tigers. Yeah. So you're saying dredge here because we're yeah, just looking we're, to end the game? Yeah. We're looking for us to saw go thespian stage, right? Uh and now we show them. Oh Yeah, we didn't, but that's fine. I would just get them back, yeah. Like that, yeah. Well, in this case, you could actually tap the wasteland because you're gonna have another one. Yes, yeah, see what you're saying, but I'm just gonna do it like, oh yeah, might as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think we we need to be a bit mindful of the clock here. We are, and then no, no, no. This is game three. This is game three. We're yeah. fine. So I will play out the wasteland and uh, fetch again. Yeah. So, at which point do you go Endurance now, Aggro? Now we tap the Mox, in case they have a... Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't... Why would we cast Endurance? I, I still think Endurance is the way to kill Magus here. Or um, we, would, we would do it because we win the game in 7 attacks. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's fine. So now we are fetching again, yeah, and we might as well wasteland. We don't have to. So, so we keep dredging, right? Yeah, we're gonna dredge, yeah, and then we're gonna. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no good things there. So wasteland yeah. their land. Yeah, we wasteland their land, and then we play a tabernacle for sure. Yeah, that's sick. And then we get back. I would probably, yeah. Tap like that, and then get Wasteland, Wasteland, Grove, because the fetch is not is useless now. They probably yep, play exactly. out Grove, I think. Okay. I think that makes sense. And now they're going to have zero mana. And we have Endurance, uh, in case they... If they attack... So we let they and tap the other. Yeah. So if they attack, do we, do we play out Endurance? I don't think we... Yeah, and that now we tap, yeah. So here's a question. So what do they... Build the oh. exploration, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine, yeah. We already got the advantage. Yeah. Yeah, that we got the juice out of that one. I don't... I, yeah, no I more. think we take the damage here. I really don't want... Because... Why? How do we lose the game if we eat we, this we, and start how, attacking? How, how do we beat Magus? Okay, yeah, fine, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. I like that. So let's start the attack. Um, Magus isn't going to resolve until later, and we have Forest and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't want to see that. They didn't want to <laughs> see the... But Magus, if they had Ancient Tomb, they could cast okay. Magus next turn. So yeah, but the thing is, then they're back to two mana, they're getting clocked. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I, don't I, think I, I it, agree. Yeah, we. I we think could... forest. How many endurances do we have in the deck? Just one more, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we we removed one. I think going. Uh, let's call it Delver with endurance is uh, something I'm very. Con I mean, I think about that a lot because of hmm. the other formats I've played endurance in. Just switching the, turning the corner. Yeah. I would call it. I mean. It's actually yeah. So you're worried about Magus here. Yeah. I was just, I, uh, well, the way I was thinking is we were already winning, so I was thinking how can we lose uh, and try to prevent that. Because yeah. I felt every turn, we were seeing three cards every turn. Yeah, so you're right, we were looming. Uh, but I see what you mean. We, And also, it's kind of interesting, uh, I used to really struggle against the um, the deck uh, that Mac Winsaws plays, but you also oh, play yeah, that. Oh yeah, the Blue Zenith. Blue yeah. Zenith, yeah. Uh, and then I noticed that I would, uh, I changed strategies. I would just go aggro with the with the uh, endurances. Yeah. Like constructs endurance aggro. That was my plan. And attacking with like elvish reclaimer, and I started winning. Um, That's much interesting. More because I guess they sometimes struggle to find removal. Uh, and I could just yeah, just going aggro was actually better than 
what I was trying before, which is maybe... When you're playing against an 80-card deck, you can kind of overload their source to plowshares with yeah. that strategy. I, I think it sounds reasonable. So yeah, so no colored source. It's kind of a returning returning theme. You also talk about it in the deck tech. You don't have that many colored sources in the no. deck. So sometimes we have hands like this. Um, how do you feel about this hand, though? Because Ursa Saga makes it at least something you can consider. Are we on the draw or play? We're on the draw. Yeah, do you have no or, accuracy? Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's crazy because we have Dark Depths and Tabernacle that are non-mana yeah, sources. I, 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 would, I, would, I mean, unless you know we're playing as Reanimator, I wouldn't keep this. Yeah, it, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this is, this is not to keep either. This is worse. It's the same hand, but <laughs> worse. Yeah, um, now... No now I would the other, yeah. So I think going to five is not a problem. I think uh, like a good five is is pretty impressive. Okay. Uh, oh my god. I mean, uh, we have yeah, to do this, this right? Yeah, I would keep this. Yeah, I would. Do we get rid of them. both crops? Is that insane? Maybe one crop and a port. I don't know. Like this is like Richard and Port is gonna be. I think we're gonna use the saga instead. I would probably go crop and and port. Yeah, I could see that. The problem is, we, yeah. we, like, we don't have acceleration. We don't have colored sources, right? So. Let's yeah, see. this is not ideal. This is Unless not ideal. Against control, like, yeah. So how can we win this? Well, it depends on what. You, okay. What are we playing against? Like, a, oh. Is this Storm? I think it's Reanimator. Okay. So thank you guys for tuning in. It's uh, always awesome to see. A, I think Legacy is uh, is the most popular format. Wow, it's not Reanimator. I would go... Pff, right. Maybe Wasteland Go, or... They've already seen it. Or maybe Stage. Maybe Stage Go, actually. Yeah, Stage Go, because if you draw Mox... We can then uh, play Ursa Saga and copy it next turn. Okay, that's cool. This is interesting. Yeah, this this must be reanimated, right? But I guess you, there was an argument for playing out Saga as well, actually, because oh, nice. Yeah, so now we'll do Mox, mm -hmm. drop the wasteland, and then play Ursa Saga. Mm -hmm. And then I would uh, discard wasteland, right? Yeah. Yes. And then play Earth's Saga, and then I would uh, not copy it now, right? You copy end step because uh, so you're not if we're playing rolling. against Reanimator, we want to keep up crop rotation. Ooh. Okay. Uh, give me your oil in the chat. Says it's Turbo Dips, I think. Okay. Why would I <laughs> well, keep crop I mean, rotation then? Doesn't, I guess map. I mean, crop it. Yeah, I don't know. At the time, we didn't have a colored source, so I maybe think... they tried to dead our hand. It's not turbo. So... Oh, is it turbo if they play one wasteland? Okay, so this was a good draw from our opponent because now we can yeah. copy. Or right. We, or we copy it anyway. We could also copy the wasteland. Because uh, we want them to use the wasteland. Don't you? Right? Why, why don't we just take the turn? Well, I would copy the wasteland because what do we care if they wasteland us? We're just gonna loam both things back, or we take. We can also just take the turn. Oh. What happens if we, as you say, try and copy their wasteland? Then yeah. they're gonna kill well, they one of our lands, and then we get them back. Yeah, exactly. Then we're in a pretty fine position. Um, aren't we? I mean, like the worst thing that can happen is we copy their wasteland. They DK our mocks. And then wait, and then wasteland our saga. I think this uh, would have been dead already if they had the K. Yeah, then I would just copy. Like I think we win. Yeah, so they kill the saga. Then we kind of try and grind. I mean, at this point, we don't even know what the opponent's up to, right? We don't know if we're dying to something. We're not dying next turn. That's for sure. <laughs> right. So now I'll probably just wasteland. Oh, sorry, yeah. I would do that, yeah. 
Loam back and then probably play out Ursa Saga again. Yeah, I think just put the pressure on, I guess you can call it. Yeah. Some kind of no, puck no, stick. No, basically what we did... We, we <laughs> it's a good guessing, yeah. I guess. We, we wastelanded them there, right? By copying their wasteland, we're just wastelanding them. That's yeah, that's doing. like the... Oh, okay, that was a good... Uh... I, I think I, I think I think I'm fine. If I have loan going and they're not doing anything unfair, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, see, this is not. They're not going anywhere here yeah. with this plan. Yeah. This is a bad plan. Don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, I would play out Darius Saga again because I think they play like sudden edict and stuff. If this is a, like, yeah. but is this really a bad pox pox hand? Because... <laughs> what do you mean bad? I mean, oh, when I, I play against Pox, <laughs> usually I have they have like Ashiok. Do you dredge here, or no, you, are no, you no, fine no, with? No, you don't dredge. Yeah, you don't dredge. You want to draw. So now, do you play out Dark Depths, or do? You, or yeah, or but like... I, don't act, I don't feel like activating. I just want to go Saga, but I want to like wait, threaten wait, this wait, if wait, they tap no, out. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, but if you draw corporate, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. So let's can't, you we, can't we... corporate the Saga away anyway because, like, next turn we can't activate and. Use crop rota rotation on our right. saga. So I think this. This is, is all. So we have some good guesses here, and and thank you for the follow, by the way. Some kind of pox deck, and the second one is curses. Yeah, I've seen that like. Curses. But okay, so now let's think. Do you think they have sudden like any? Well, we might as well just make a token here, right? I I, I would I'm make a, one. I'm on the saga train here. Yeah, I would make one so that we at least have are immune to an edict, but I wouldn't make two. This is yeah. They just conceded, so I, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I I think it, it, in this case, in our main, I wouldn't make a token. I would just let this. Uh, okay, so you're saying one token yeah, and then yeah. float the main instead. Yeah, I think so. So at least then we're right. immune to like edicts. Oh my god, what is this? So okay. Do you? So Albert, if, before we when you why do you think about sideboarding? I'm gonna. Start a giveaway here because I okay. want to do a giveaway for the the tier one con. I want to give away a free ticket to a lucky player. So all I need you guys to do is write what do you think is Albert's favorite format and and which tournament will he play at the tier one con in the chat. And if you get the format correctly, you'll be in the raffle. Um, yeah. So what are you saying here? We're playing in some black based something deck. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. It's so hard. I mean, I guess force of vigor for like ley lines. So you're uh, saying if you don't really know what's going on, it's always fine to have um, some yeah answers for some cyborg cards, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think it's like some sort of pox decks. I'm thinking like they might have ley line. They might have this ley line creature. Uh, but I mean. Yeah, probably four so we go, but it's like what else? Like, I mean, I can see a lot of cards. I'm fine probably. just. Like, I'm fine think, just playing these two. Yeah. For for game two, and then just cut two cards that we think are so. I just highlighted the mazes here. I'm not really sure. I think they can yeah. go. I don't think they're good. I don't think Tabernacle is anything special. No. I'm Maybe like, Tabernacle is better. Tabernacle, I mean, if they if they play a lot of creatures, maybe they play like bitter blast. I don't know. I I'm uh, maybe you're right. The mazes can go. What about the Buyuka bog? Do you think they use their graveyard? Maybe they. Um. We, d we saw literally say. nothing. We saw but nothing. at least this taps for mana. <laughs> that's yeah. basically my. At least this taps for mana if it's bad. Yeah, and... let's do that then. Yeah, I agree. Maze doesn't do anything if they are like. On creatures that are disruptive, punishing fire yeah. is good. Pithing needle yeah. is also probably good. As yeah, let's, I, I, I feel like we just do this and see what happens. Yeah, like endurance is probably not good. I think so. But that's 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 also either. interesting in the and how we view the game. In my opinion, in, endurance is never bad. So. Oh yeah. Sometimes the great games get like super grindy, and yeah. you just need a random creature. So yeah, we haven't drawn colored sources 
in our openers. Yeah, four that's, openers. that's been an unfortunate and, theme here. So uh, they're like a multiple basic swamp decks, so I'm not yeah. going to lean on these wastelands no, in no, any... No, this, this hand is bad, yeah. This hand is a turn three. Uh, it's not um, great, because uh, we can crop for uh, Yavimaya. Oh, you're saying we have both of them already, and yeah. then we can... F okay. Yeah, and we have double... I would probably keep this and maybe bottom yeah. the wasteland. Okay. So we insulate ourselves against one Thoughtseize yeah. by keeping both crops. We yeah. don't necessarily plan on casting two crops, but it's good protection against what we already know. Yeah. Unless they play like Opposition Agent. Crop rotation is probably going to be good. But they might play Opposition, opposition agent, agent. That's cool. It's, I, that's, Actually, they might yeah. play Opposition Agent. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could, I could. Okay, they didn't have a play turn one. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Exploration. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, uh, tiger go right. I think. I feel like you get into a lot of unique situations with this deck because yeah. when you're up against certain decks, everything would, just changes. Crop, crop now. Crop for Yavimaya. Yeah, it's kind of free. Unless it's they have, like, Dark Ritual Opposition Agent. <laughs> you called it, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> you called it! Baby! They That's a good one. The nuts. We need, uh, we need a clip. I mean, we need. I need some technology to like make these cool clips because I've had many, many situations where the my guest is just calling some yeah. <laughs> in, insane shot, and it, it's just good. Uh, it's just good content. Yeah, I've lost these decks many, many times. Uh, although I don't think that this like sure it was a cool play from our opponent, but even if we hadn't wastelanded, if we hadn't cropped, like that would also have been good. Mm -hmm. Like, what are they going to do now? Find a wasteland, but. And can they play it forever, or how does it work? Yeah. They can cast it or play it. They can play it. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be so they can find Caracas. This is going to be annoying. This is super annoying. Yeah. Okay. So they find Caracas, but we have Baseju. That's an answer to Caracas. The problem is we need like to draw Punishing Fire. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, I would probably play Port Go. Right, because we don't want to get. We, we, we can't crop anyway. Yeah. No. And we don't want to lose the colored source yeah, that can cast Compulsion Fire. Thespian stage. Yeah, yeah, that was very, very Cause savage. Because we, we can still win. Well, okay, yeah, this is fine. I guess we. Yeah, we can still win, right? Because we can just kill the Caracas with the Boseju. And then. We, uh, we, we should have some time, but I think they have some other annoying crap. disruption. <laughs> yeah. What an annoying deck. Baby. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, Double waste and then the agent. I, I, don't, I, I don't think that was a good play for our opponent. I don't oh, like that no. as well. Now I would go, uh, yeah, Grove, Exploration, probably Stage. You see there, they should have kept the Wasteland, right? Oh, for sure. It didn't do anything to kill that no. port. And now if we draw well, land, now they kind of have to play Caracas. And then... Well, they don't have to, I guess, but next turn they have to play Caracas. If we just mm. draw land, they have to. If we draw any... Okay, now they did it. So this is fine. Okay. Land. Oh. Oh. Nice. Well, okay, so we play out Wasteland Dark Depths, right? Yeah, okay. let's kill this one right away. Well, so they don't, don't have the mana. Really, uh, okay, yeah, I like that, yeah. But then maybe don't play out Dark Depths then. I don't know... Um, I think hmm. maybe it's better to play out the Besaju because if they wasteland this stage, we can copy the swamp. Like yeah, that's... but that's still bad. Maybe we're just bad against wasteland in general. But then, if wait, uh, yeah, because. If they have Wasteland, Besage is not going to stop that, right? Because they will just kill the Thespian stage. I think yeah. it's better to play it out. At least we we can let our opponent misplay. By, play which by, one out? Uh, Besage. Okay. Unless they have Caracas. Do you think they play Caracas? I don't think so. No, no, no. 
So now at least we we give them the opportunity to misplay. So we just pass. Yeah. Yeah, I think now they have like four draws. They have two ways. To they have two ways yeah, they, they probably play. also have which spells would which removal S spell would they play? Sudden edict. Okay. That, that's, uh, that's that's also annoying. Yeah, but they need mana as well. But yes, that is annoying. Yeah. Did I just? What? Was I supposed to? At least we can copy draw. my own wasteland before uh, wasting here. Maybe, yeah. Actually, but I mean, it's not. And do they play him to Torak? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that 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 card doesn't help them. So we just go all in. Do I copy anything before my turn, or? No, it doesn't matter. I don't think you have to copy anything. I mean, you could copy Grove, but I still, I, st I still think we go all in, right? Yeah, yeah, but this is free, correct? Yeah, it is free. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? 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 Ah, so they didn't have any removal in the deck. Yeah, because they had they had two they have two flips. Like a flip and a draw to draw an edict. Okay, maybe they yeah. don't have any removal in the deck, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Ritual opposition agent countering a crop rotation, getting yeah. Caracas. I don't think yeah. we beat that every day. <laughs> Did we ever figure out figure out what they were playing? I also saw some some decks at, at some point like that a played Pox deck, isn't it? Maybe they play Helm? They could play I was about to ask if they played the three mana Ashok. That's like maybe that's just a bad opposition agent. Maybe it's a good opposition agent. I'm not sure. But I, I saw I some decks that that wanted to go turn one dark ritual Ashok Dream Render or whatever it's called mm -hmm. um, at some point, I mean, which is surprisingly annoying against fetches and yeah, uh, yeah. dead guy ale. Yeah, I think uh, Ashok is very good against lands. Extremely oh, for sure. Because that card's crazy. Both. They get both the angles, like the searches and the graveyard. So it's kind of, you can't even use Loam then. Um, and it's kind of hard to kill with Punishing Fire as well, because it has quite a high loyalty. Yeah. So there's this coming. Pretty sure this person played Pleasant Kenobi earlier. Strange deck. It plays Sudden Edict and Fatal Push if it's the same. Okay. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe that concession is about something away from the yeah, game. Yeah, it could be, yeah. No, start. I don't know. I don't know. What... Let's uh, win some die rolls soon. Yeah. I think this hand is okay. Right? For sure. Yeah, it has, like, Ursa Saga and Mox, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, it also has Wasteland. And, I mean, I think it's... it's 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 Yeah, it has Acceleration and Ursa Saga, right? It's one yeah, of the... This will be good. We yeah. we have some disruption. Oh, Ooh, no. baby. We also don't have any life points. We're dead. We're dead. Turn one, baby. Well, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. I just assume something uh, crazy is going to happen here. Yeah. I mean, there is... Okay, okay we're not dead yet. I would probably... Let's think. Let's think. So they, yeah, I don't think Ursa Saga makes sense, right? Or does it? What can we find? So Ursa Saga can find Needle uh -huh. or Gristlebrand, but we're just gonna die to. Uh, yeah. If we have Entomb, we die to the other creature, Archon. Also, uh, we have to remember. We have to remember the, this one. Just a note. I've forgotten this one search yeah. twice. Yeah, but Ursa Saga, I mean, so how does it work? We want to play... They kept seven card hand. I mean, yeah. is that even playable to... Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay, so either they are going to end step in Tomb here and kill us, yeah. which we can do nothing about, yeah. or after they saw our hand and saw the Wasteland, they didn't want to cast their Faithless Looting, but maybe that's very bad to slow roll. Uh, I'm just trying to think here if they can. If they keep seven cards, yeah, it it must have entomb in it. Otherwise, it's not a good keep. I feel like entomb or faithless looting, right? Why would you? Yeah, but that? not playing the faithless looting is a stretch. 
I think they would have played that as well. But we can't do anything about that. Uh, okay, but assume they have Entomb then. So Ursa Saga can find a needle in two, yeah. in three turns. But we don't get any constructs for it if we do it now. No. Uh, but we're gonna That's... have to play Maze next turn, right? So, we, I mean... Uh, yeah. Um... I, uh, Ursa Saga can also find Caracas. Yeah, but that's very slow. Yeah, but it's even slower if we don't play out the Ursa Saga now. Like, yeah. So I, I think the only lands we can consider here is Ursa Saga or Wasteland, right? Yeah, me too. Uh, so my, my pitch for Wasteland is mm. if they have Entomb, they just destroy us. So we kind of have to play like they don't. Okay, then I would, yeah, Wasteland then. Because I would go Wasteland, yeah. if we play Wasteland... Then it, and then we can play Saga next turn, Unless and then we can actually off. make constructs out of this card. If yeah. they just entomb now, we're dead. So we we can't really worry too much about that. They didn't have the entomb, and they had. What? That's very bad to face the basic swamp. Okay, fair enough. They hit. Yeah, I don't know what's what, going on here. What, what does our opponent have? Okay, so if we guys draw crop rotation, we're fine. We're golden. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's not a crop rotation. No, I'll definitely play the saga, right? Yeah. Or so, we, so, or do we fake that yeah, we have crop? I mean, you, there's an argument for playing forest there as well. Um, I usually I don't want to overthink. I I want to come to the conclusion my opponent doesn't have it, so I want to yeah. just try and kill them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, now forest definitely right next turn because. Crop rotation or endurance would be pretty good as well. But crop rotation, like we have seven good cards. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Um, uh, I don't think they're supposed to go. I think you like forest here. Yeah, at least we we hold up. We represent crop rotation. Like I mean, another thing we could have done is no. I mean, we could play like stage blast zone and try to get the petal. But I mean. I, s I really don't understand why why our opponent kept that hand. Me because neither. Now we make a construct. Uh, yeah, then let's see what we draw. Oh, Mox, that's not too bad. So I would probably make another one here, and yeah. then probably find Needle naming Gristlebrand. Okay. Or, or Expedition Map, or what else do we have? Uh, don't you think, like either Shadow Spirit to try to kill him faster, or Spell Bomb, for the same, or just yes, Needle naming Gristlebrand. I mean, this is, or Map. The problem with Map. Well, I guess Map can find Poseidon and Bog if they go. Yeah, I think at this point it's mostly for the artifact count. And then maybe this map leaves us with better options down the road. But but isn't that needle naming gristle? Oh okay. I think I'm chunk. I'm eating their life total now, so that. Okay, fine. So let's do that then. Expedition map. Then Redemption. play land, uh, play uh, diamond. Yeah, Ursa Saga, definitely Ursa Saga. Okay. Then you play the diamond, and you tap Ursa Saga to pay for the one. And then you. Getting rid of what? Uh. Probably the Grove, right? What does Blast Zone do? If, if well, we get it to two counters, we can blow up the uh, Animate Dead and stuff. Okay. Not, That's not nothing. No. Yeah, this game is strange. I think what they're trying to do now is naturally go to cleanup, which is hilarious. Um, so they go to seven cards now, and then they can do it next turn? Yeah, what is that going to help? Okay, this is so very now, strange. Okay, so now they get, so now they get a fatty into play for sure. Yeah. Now they get a gristle brand. Okay, so maybe we should have got a needle actually. Yeah, that right now that looks, that looks good. Because okay, so they can draw. Well, maybe we should have got a spell bomb. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on here. So they go to 8, which is an annoying number. But 
If they don't produce more creatures, we win. We, yeah, we do win, right? Because we can bounce this thing. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we, yeah, we do win, but... We, okay, that's fine. Unmask us. Yeah, that's not a problem. Hmm. I mean... Yeah. I do... I still think we lose. Needle on Gristle Brand. Maybe that would have been better. I, I simply don't know. I'm, I'm very sad that they could do this twice. I should have thought about that. Okay, but if we needle Archon. the Gristle Brand, yeah. I feel like we we still lose to that Archon. But they didn't have Archon. We were, I mean, they had Gristle Brand. Yeah, yeah. Faceless loot, and yeah. So the thing is, they didn't have Entomb. So maybe Needle actually would have been better. Okay, so now we. I feel we beat this card. If we have a Needle in play. Yeah, then we can outgrow it. Well, I guess. Well, we also have Maze of it, right? So. And blast zone, so we could. I mean, with needle in play, we could go for the long game. Yeah, I would drop, yep. probably drop the blast zone there. I mean, yeah, this th this game is probably over. Yeah, I agree. It's probably over. Yeah. Okay, they can hmm. animate another one. <laughs> and it's not in the legend there. Okay, now we're dead. Yeah. Hmm. In it was an interesting game. I think. Okay, so this. So, yeah, so if we needle, the thing we play around is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Then they make a six seven. Then they pass the turn. Then we get this. Yeah, to then we have two. maze of it, so they can't really attack. We we can attack with our construct and maze the one, uh, so they don't get life. I guess they can then attack us, but that that's not going to do anything. Yeah, I think um, Neil we probably would have won that game. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. So let's see. Why was this? Why was uh, Expedition Map a good choice here? Well, Expedition Map was good in the case that yeah, it wasn't really in the case that they would have gone. Uh, if they would have gone faithless looting and not reanimated anything. Yeah, but in that case we're play. winning the game, so maybe we. I think we, yeah, we, I think we played this wrong. Yeah, needle, needle was good against one of the scenarios that could happen, but mm. expedition map was good against zero of the scenarios yeah. that could that was problematic. Yeah, I agree. Okay, but yeah, that's no, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so sometimes they play Magus of the Moon, but okay. usually, it's more normal for them to play Show and Tell. So I would cut. I would cut all removal, spell bomb as well, pirate spell bomb as well. Oh, pirate spell bomb. Uh, also uh, shadow spear, I guess. Yeah, I think also shadow spear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I would, yeah. So, on the creature or on the land side, yeah, tabernacle doesn't do enough. Uh, and then, that's about it. I think if you. There's an argument for cutting one Vith? maze. You can't I really think maze. maze of Maze of Ith is really, really situational against Reanimator. Yeah, but I mean there are games where they go like they mulligan a lot, so they multi five and they get one of those um, white yeah. creatures in. It's, sure. It's, uh, Blast zone you could also cut. Like it's very and then what yeah, those I would bring all those in. Uh, so this is exactly 60. Do you want to get clever with this one before seeing the show and tell? No, I think Spear is better than... Yeah. So let's uh, submit this for game 2 and yeah. see what happens. There's or... also dr Drop of Honey. You could argue, but it's very... I hate that. I... So, in general, I hate like planning for them to actually produce a Gristle Brand. I, I really want to stop them from ever doing it. Yeah. But I, I understand you, that sometimes, sometimes you have to hedge. Yeah. Yeah. I understand it exists, but... I would rather have cards that help my own game plan. Yeah, this is bad. If we had one more land, it would be insane. But yes, it is bad, unfortunately. We mulligan this, yeah. Um, it would have been maybe okay on the draw, but I think it's, uh, it's a mulligan. It's sad because this card could potentially crush them. Yes. 
But, but if we just pass the turn, they'll smell what's going on. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem with that one. This hand. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, this hand can just so lose before we even get to play. Yeah, I mean, this is a turn three answer. This is a mulligan, right? Endurance does nothing before before we have a green card. So yeah, yeah this, that's... this is a mulligan, yeah. This hand is good. Yeah, I'm not sure we can keep enough cards for it to be good, though. Uh. Oh, yeah, you're right. So we have to put back Exploration and one land? What about Mox? I think what? we... What? Oh, what? yeah, we have to... Oh, this sucks. What about putting back a Mox and... Uh... And it has to be it has to be a land, right? So that we can draw a green source and no. I mean, okay. Let's think about how do we win? They go all in. Yeah, we win go. if they go all in. Which they're not gonna do when they keep seven, I think. So we win if they go all in. Yeah. Um, if the game or goes... then we have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. May maybe I would put back exploration and. And Wasteland, maybe. <sighs> or Mox. Maybe Mox and Exper oh. Um, We need a bad green card for Endurance, most likely. Yeah. I mean, Loam is not the best. <sighs> maybe it I is. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe we put back two lands. And because we will get some turns, we need to draw one more land, then we can start Loaming. But start, but loam doesn't really do anything against them. I, I, I mean, this is not a wasteland matchup, right? This is kind of a match. No, but it's it takes for the combo. If we if they invest all the resources and we get to. I mean, that's why we keep this hand. We keep this hand because we hope to trade for like five of their cards. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you if you bought them one land. And say an expir expiration does nothing. It's just to endurance. Yeah, but that's loam does that as well. Yeah, but I want to. So, hear me out. Maybe this is crazy. Yeah. I want to bottom two of these lands, so that if we draw any land, we can play mox, pitch a land, play a land, start loaming for the combo. These two are the disruption to get out of turn one. Yeah. Okay. But but and we have a million lands have, in the deck. But you have you already have half the combo, right? You only need yeah. to draw like then a crop, a crop, the, Then you put to... waste and import back. Yeah, okay. I could I could see that, yeah. I could see that. So we play stage pass turn one. Hope they go for it. Yeah. And then we need any line to get going. I mean it's not perfect, yeah. but it's a plan. Because the other plan is to bottom expiration, bottom one land, and hope to naturally draw. Because if you do that. If they don't go for it and we draw another green card, we're also good, right? If you bottom um, expiration and like a, a wasteland, then we. Yeah, can but if go they don't go for it, then then they they cast a discard spell. They're not gonna go Unless land go. they did, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do that. Bottom two lands. That's fine. Which one do we keep? Which land stage, do we keep? Stage. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's a really awkward hand. I mean, I mean maybe you should have kept stage. I don't know. No, actually. No, 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 because then we're back into the whole why would they go for it if we play like this? We need to play this land to not look... So it's definitely a show-and-tell deck. Yeah. Uh, I think we're in a... <laughs> really bad spot, yeah. Okay, so they did have it, of course. Yeah, I mean, the problem in, in now, that situation. The problem now is that, okay, we need to draw like an endurance, or we just did. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I can't really help with that tech stuff, but I mean, they just have an underground scene play. There's uh. Well, it's definitely they're definitely playing show and tell. I think. Yeah, for moment. sure. So yeah, I think with situation like that, 
I think it's very important to no, really. narrow down, just like the needle, just like we should yeah. have done with the needle was, what can we yeah. actually control? What's yeah. a realistic scenario yeah. we have impact over? And it's the same here. That's our only way to win this game, is yeah. if they go for a turn one, and we get to trade with like a ritual and an entomb and a reanimation spell, and we just... That's the only way to win that game. We don't win the game by... So what you suggested was... I'm sure it's fine in like normal matchups to like ensure you can at least play a little bit of magic, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's important to like shoot for the stars in situations like that. So now I think we need to draw exactly Caracas or Maze of it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I mean, so yeah, actually, if we draw Caracas, it's not the end. Oh, that was not <laughs> Caracas or Maze of it. And they have nothing in their yard, right? I guess we can loan that back, right? You're a positive guy. I like it. Well, we're not... I would... Yeah, I would loan that back and then play it out. I think. I would I would concede the game and search for the next one. Yeah. I would play this out now. I, th I think getting the looting is... I mean, oh, why didn't you cast Buyuka Bog? Uh, I thought you said don't play it out. No, I said play it out. Yeah, I, okay. I mean, we are dead. It doesn't really matter. We, we... It's not It's not really possible to not lose from here. Play against 15 cards. I don't think so either. Well, it is possible, of course, but they can misclick and miss the attack. Okay, expiration, probably. Okay, now we're dead. Yeah, now concede. <laughs> so you see, even with three endurance main, it's very easy to lose to reanimate. It's a bad matchup. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just how it is. They they had they had seven think, card hands. I also, also don't which think is... we we played. Yeah, but also in game one, I think we misplayed. To be fair, to I think we should. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, the map didn't make much sense because it's only good if they don't produce a fatty. And in that case, we're very happy. Yeah, exactly. So we have to think about which fatty can we actually interact with somewhat. And that's like... Uh, Gristlebrand. Yeah. The, 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 the gris make Gristlebrand just a big life linker and then try and, yeah, cause and overrun May. it with... So we had May, so, so it, that... Yeah, we yeah. could. This is like usually like an artifact deck. Uh, this is not the keep, I think. It's just two. Seven slow. lanes. We are on the play. Uh, yeah, you are being asked, what's the best matchup? Or what's the best matchups in plural? Um, well, Elves is a really good matchup, I think. This hand is a, is a keep. Uh, yeah, this looks great. I think Elves is a good matchup. Uh, Delver is uh -huh. one of the matchup I enjoy. I mean, you, we can always lose it, of course, but it's um, Death Goblins. Taxes. Yeah. Gobl well, yeah, Goblins. I, th is also good I think generally, when this card can either go get Tabernacle or Bajukibok and be insane, I think generally you're in a good spot. Yeah, Dredge is a really good matchup. It's not played that often, <laughs> uh, yeah. unfortunately, uh, but. Dredge and Turbo Depths, I think, is a good one. Black Green Turbo Depths is. Yeah. So, what do you want to bottom here in the dark? Mace? Yes, I think so. Uh, and then I would probably go like Mox Diamond, Pitch Wasteland, uh, yeah. Ursa Saga, and then get the Wasteland back, I think. Unless we yeah, just ran reanimator again, but I I think we want to get it back so that we can. Uh, don't you know the rule? You can only play against reanimator one time per league. That's I the gentle, gentleman's rule. Uh, I think we're playing against a corn deck, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, or lands. We're playing against eight, eight mulch. That's going to be. In yeah, this is eight mulch. This is also not the best matchup. Uh, is that like the grindier version yeah, of lands, exactly. basically? They, they play eight mulches and mana bond. So they are pr probably favored in the long game, mm -hmm. usually. But here, 
this Javi Maya is going to be interesting because if we draw like a stage, I wouldn't. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I Maybe Tabernacle doesn't matter, so we can play Mox? Yeah, I would play Mox and then wait the Wasteland. And I wouldn't. Uh, and I wouldn't. Let's think here. Were yeah. we supposed to play out the tavern? No, this no, is fine. No, 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 no. I think this is fine. So now we yeah. can make it 3, 3, then a 4, 4. Okay. <laughs> and we can yeah. find... Yeah, Im immune with dinosaurs. Look at the top 5. No, it's a dinosaur or land. Actually, maybe it's not 8 mulch. Sorry, I thought it was another one. There's another commute that finds an enchantment or a land. Right, commune with nature. Oh, maybe. It's maybe. like dinosaur stompy or something. I don't even know what that is. Is that like the 4-3 protection blue card? Ancient stirrings. Maybe it is a corn deck anyway. I don't know what's going on, but I do agree. This guy, I remember playing a lot against him in Modern, and there was always some yeah. different artifact deck back when yeah. Mox Opal was lethal. Uh, lethal, lethal yeah. as I was about to yeah. say, Mox Opal was lethal. Well, kind of was. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, so now I would make a token. Mm hmm. Uh, tapping Wasteland? No, 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 tap Wasteland. Oh yeah, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter because you have you can. Tap I'm a, I'm a professional. I know this yeah, card. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but 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 thank you for being yeah. <laughs> on your toes. Here, do we we don't dredge again, right? No, I think I'm in saga mode here. Yeah. So now I would uh, make another one, and I'm not, I'm not even sure we want to. Uh, do we even want to crop here? Show him we have it. You're saying we want them to like go all in at some point and then we crush them. Yeah, because like yeah, you could you could crop you could crop now. Uh, yeah, crop for free. Thing. I know what you're saying. Yeah, but I don't. But think maybe if we have wasteland. Because we what do we do? We're probably gonna find needle, naming Karn, right? Or do we name? Thespian oh, name stage? Karn. Maybe no, we don't care about Thespian stage with this hand. No, we don't care about that. Yeah. So I want. I want to do this, and I th name Karn. I mean, Karn. We just maybe K Karn will crush us. Yeah. Also, isn't that like one way we can lose? Uh... I mean, um, if is uh, I think we got their land situation under control. If we can get them to go all in, first they have to deal with the wasteland, and then yeah. we can kind of crush them with the yeah. rotation. Yeah. Okay, so need naming corn or beside you. You can also name beside you, but mm, the thing about corn is well, corn just dies, right? If they have corn here, they will. Yeah, but maybe they can tutor something up that we yeah. can't beat. Yeah, let's do corn. Yeah, corn. The great I'm really, creator. I'm really not sure. I think it sounds which it's the great creator. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they could just besage you the needles, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, but that's fine. At least now we force them to have that yeah. besage you. Well, they have besage you. guys. I think we... Sh Commune with spirits is the other one. Okay, thank you, Senpai. Didn't they show us besage you? Huh. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should no, start paying no. attention. Yeah. So they somehow... They don't, they don't kill anything. So this is also cool. Maybe this wasteland will be like their... Um, besage a target at some point. Yeah. I think this crop rotation will be amazing in this game. I have high hopes for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm dredging. We're dredging next turn, right? 100%. Yeah, because we don't... Okay. So, we, we got what we wanted, I guess. Yeah, so ne they can't besage you and uh, make a token. Unless Correct. they have like... Uh... So, we take the turn. Yeah, we take the turn and we dredge. Worst thing that can happen is that we dredge Caracas, I guess. But that doesn't really matter. Yeah, and then we tap, I guess we tap the... Wait, we don't tap the Mox now, because they can corporate Yavimaya away. And then we don't get to make green mana, so we we tap... One of them and stage? Yeah, I think so, yeah. That's what I would do. Very, very good call, because it, it happens instantaneously, so there's yeah. no way to respond. I guess we have our own Yavimaya, but... Yeah, and then that one and the Saga, and I guess in this case we play out Urza Saga, right? 
don't you think? Mm, or, we have or mana okay. here, so we're fine. Yeah, okay. I th yeah, I think that's what we do. Then I guess we attack them down. To well, I guess also, like, we kill them in, in two swings, regardless. Yeah, but, of but, but they're going to kill... Well, they're not going to kill... What are they going to do here? Oh, they have to kill the wasteland, or no? I don't yeah, even I know what's going on. Yeah, I think they are in bad, bad spot. They need, they need to like the way they win is besiege you the wasteland, but they can't even do it now. Like, there's nothing. They're gonna besiege you the wasteland, right? Do we then waste? Okay, nice. So they cast crop rotation. Yeah, to wasteland my wasteland. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, but they don't know that. I mean, it's. I think they. Yeah, I think I think we let this resolve. I don't think anything. No. Yeah, let me just. You don't waste. So they. No. Or okay, so they get another one. Okay, and then then what? What do they do now then? Yeah, I don't understand. We, we, like the trick with crop rotation is you let them react first, right? Uh huh. You always want to let them do do yeah. their thing first. Yep. You want crop rotation to be like a counter spell? For sure. The reactive crop rotation yeah. is where it's at. Okay, so that's not the winning play. Versus Saga, a little late. Yeah, late to party, yeah. So it's like a mirror. Playing like a weird mirror. Uh, now, now we get the dark tips, don't we? Might as well. Yeah, we wait then the dark depths. Yeah, don't you think? think yeah, we because then that. we force them to produce a new one, and we also yeah. have the answer for that one because we're yeah. professional magic players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now they, yeah, sure they can have another dark depths. Doesn't matter. I think that's their plan. The only problem is even if they make the big token, we I still have die, five. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't why, need the crop why, rotation, but why, it was very good. Why do they play that dinosaur? Yeah, we they that look thing. at the top five for a land. It's basically the same as Ancient Stirrings. It just can't find artifacts. Ancient Stirrings is colorless card, right? So that's like land and, and artifacts. You, you think they play like four once upon a time, four crop rotation, four Ancient Good. Stirrings, and four. Oh, no idea. It's like sixteen no. cantrips. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Uh, isn't like Elvish Reclaimer better then? Strange. Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm. Of course, the Wigger uh, we bring in, right? Yep. For the mocks and needles and what they might have. Um, if they're Karn deck, I kind of like the Punishing Fires. Uh, oh, okay, so we actually have some. This is quite bad. I think you can cut two Dark Depths. Like, there's no reason you ever want to draw a Dark Depth, right? But no, okay, so what do what do what do you have out here that's actually relevant? Is Thran Foundry a decent? It could be. It's okay against Life from the Loam. Uh, do you want to go to one Dark Depths? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But Tabernacle is quite embarrassing as well. Tabernacle is really bad unless they play um, Elvish Reclaim. Maybe Spellbomb is better than Tabernacle. Yeah. I mean, we don't. We have don't a really... lot of things we can do. Right. I think this is so. Fine. So, so basically, your your sideboard isn't tuned for this matchup, so you no. just live with the fact that you have some marginal cards. That's just how it is. Sometimes I I definitely have those situations as well in other formats where, well, I'm not super tuned for this mirror, but neither are they. So it's gonna be just fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, it makes could... sense, right? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice hand. And as you said, this is like uh, maybe two or three percent strategy in general. So yeah, it, so I think it's so it, totally this fine. It's like a virtual five, <laughs> but it's an insane five, which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's you're, you're talking about these two. Yeah, you can mulligan quite aggressively with lands because you really only need five cards. That's interesting it's that the Mox Diamond deck can uh, mulligan a lot. <laughs> Do you want to just get Saga going? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh no, that was a bad draw. Uh, yeah, I would. No, yeah, play like that. I guess then you you might as well just play that. Yeah. Cast another expiration. Oh, you want that over the spear? 
Yeah, I think so. Don't you think they can get the wasteland? So just play the wasteland out? I think so, yeah. And then... Well, okay, yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Uh, there was also an argument for wastelanding in their upkeep. But then I guess we... I hate I hate wastelanding that card. But you but I, okay okay I see what you're saying we have loam going. Yeah. But then we can actually get crushed by wasteland if we do that. Yeah. That is. I true. like this better, but I didn't think about it at the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they get go for saga, ancient stirrings. So now, what what would be a good draw here? Fetch land. Mm. Yeah, that would be a lot of stuff. Chrome. Chrome box. I don't know what's going on here. It is a corn deck. It must be. But we, I don't know what's does, going on. Does our saga be their saga? I don't. Think it. So. Uh, well, we pedal. I don't know. I don't know. What? I really don't know what's going on either now. What's that? Oh. Big <laughs> okay. one. So what's what's their payoff? If they, uh -huh. they, these are like all their neighbors, is Ursa Saga the... Oh, they <laughs> have a dinosaur. Oh, nice. Okay, so they're kind of storming. Like a storm deck. So this is a legend. So we can find Caracas. I guess we can't find Caracas this turn. But this doesn't kill us. It's, it does have Tremble and Haste, so... But, okay, so kills us in... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So, it, so... <laughs> oh, <nice>. so <laughs> yeah, this is just... Uh, this is too... This is too much. So I guess, what do we do? Do we... Uh, let's think about it. Do we Wasteland Saga, then mm -hmm. corporate uh, Can we loan first in any... No, we want to crop it yeah. first, right? So we get another land back. No, wait, we can't. Right. Wait, we only have three mana, so we can't Caracas and Wasteland and use Loam, right? I'm pretty sure we can. Um, because it, no. it's all forests? No, it is. Yeah, 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 you're right. Because we can... No. No, we can't. If we Wasteland here... We can't Caracas and bounce it and get back uh, and cast life from the loan. I guess okay. what we can do is we can crop rotate Wasteland away, can't we? Then we can... So you're, so wait, wait, you're wait, wait, saying... Wait, let's count. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to play it out like visually. Yeah. yeah. So tap loan for green. Yeah, crop rotate for crop Caracas. Rotation for Caracas. Bounce that bounce. thing. Pay two mana to loan back the wasteland, and then yeah, and then wasteland, and kill the saga. Yeah. So we put them back a lot. I think that's. Also, we don't have to bounce now. We can just do it on their attack step. Yeah, it, it doesn't have shroud. Wait. No, it only it hex proofs if it's only that turn. The battlefield. Yeah, I think I think that's a good line. Yeah, so we are constrained on mana, so we have to do it this way. I think. I think this is fine because loam is still going to be um, the dinosaur doesn't have hexproof on their turn unless they just cast, cast it. it. Yeah, so we go Caracas, right? And it is legendary. We know it's legendary, so we don't. Yeah, yeah. It it is legendary. Yeah. So and then you tap, you get it back. Yeah, this makes sense, I think. And then we get we get Saga, right? Definitely, because Saga is going to be a problem, potentially. Uh -huh. And we can bounce. Baby! We, have to, we don't have to, yeah. Because we just win. Nice. Opponent is living his best life, casting dinosaurs like a sir. Yeah. yeah. But, uh... Nice. Yeah, the, the, I this, this is... This strategy against the crop rotation Caracas. I mean, I know we were... Some nasty guys drawing that card. But it's still just... It doesn't get there on average, I would say. Yeah. Also, a comment I missed. Whoa, Sorceress isn't on a Soul Land deck. Soul Land. So I, I guess I've only played against that player in Modern. 
And it was just always Mox Opal strategies. So it makes a lot of sense if they also just love the the Chrome Moxes of the world and the ancient tombs, etc. So let's play first. I think this is a Delver. I think this hand is good also. Mm hmm. So let's okay. see here. How do you usually play this? Because. Uh, in this case, I think there is an argument for not playing the Mox Diamond in case yeah. you play against like a Prismatic Ending deck. Or maybe just go Tiger Go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Or Wasteland Go. But I think Tiger... So if we go Wasteland Go and they go dual land delver we look yeah. like geniuses yeah um but if we go wasteland go then the likelihood of them fetching basic island goes up yeah. and then maybe that's a problem have, yeah i would go maybe go tiger go then but but yeah because what if they go dark ritual and tomb yeah that, that that's not nothing um there is the one reanimator rule though that they have okay. to remember. And we already played against the reanimator once, so they have to remember that one. Death deck? Okay, now... Urborg. It's, it's, it's been a while since I've seen that card. Wait, wait, wait. We have a turn two now. Right now... Talk to I me. I would go Mox. Mm -hmm. Stage. Don't, don't we then have a turn? Yeah, we do have a turn two, right? Then we can crop for... We can crop for Dark Depths. Tap Dark Depths. And the mock. Oh, because of Urborg, I see. Yeah. I would probably so, have... what do we pitch here? Tabernacle? Yeah. So, Mox, pitch Tabernacle. Probably Tabernacle, yeah. Play and stage, stage, pass? Yeah. Yeah, that's insane that their Urborg is enabling Dark Depths to tap for, tap for mana. Two. Yeah, that's insane. So, please play something uh, bad. What? Now we can just copy their Dark Depths. Is that how it works? Yeah. So they they must have... They must have... Wait, let's think. They must have Sudden Edict. Why would they otherwise do this? Because they don't know that interaction. Like I didn't. <laughs> yeah, but if you play Dark Tips, you probably know that. Uh, I play Dark Tips, I don't know it. it I'm just saying it's possible well, to well, not know can, about we it. We can just do it again, right? Let's do that. I think we can just corporate for stage on our turn, and then wasteland there. <laughs> there. So we do it now. And then if... Yeah, we do it now, and yeah, let's do it now. Oh, I can't remember the play. So copy yeah. bears. Yeah, copy their dark tips. Yeah. And then we even have Krakas. So, like, oh my god, we just have it all. Oh, okay. So we're playing against turbo depths. This so is what, fine. What... What are they doing here? They, they make the thing. <laughs> okay, so this this but this is gonna be ultra punished now. We we can what? still lose if they have the yeah okay. Yeah, but, but we have maze of it, and we can make our own. So I would play Caracas bounce. This is stupid. Yeah, so we can still lose if they have double protection. Okay, so this is fine. So now I would play out the mocks. So they had the nut of this world that you talked about. Yeah. Play Mox uh, pitch. Uh, pitch. Blastone? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, because what if they're pithing Needle on Caracas? I don't think you want to. I think you want to pitch Wasteland. Why do we even want to. Uh... Cast the Mox? Mm hmm. Uh, so that we can crop rotate for Dark Depths if we have to. Is it better? Uh, like... Okay, so so you're saying if they go, I mean, no, if, what... if if they have another not of if they don't have a land, then it's better for us to to oh! make, make a token and then bounce again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. So you're saying pitch yeah. wasteland and put yeah. around needle later, maybe? Yeah. yeah wow, exactly. th this is <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So we we we, we can yeah you. We oh my god! Lose if they have like double protection, but if they have like, 
if they just they, okay they didn't have okay so they they might okay so okay we can still lose in many ways but let's think let's think let's think so we can lose if they have Elv if they have another spirit guide another crop rotation yeah then they, they go for Sidiri step yeah but that's two cards right yeah we need to force them to yeah this game is insane you're definitely right Goblin Lecky and welcome so if we have if we have so th that's two cards if we if we go for Maze of it they only need one card right I just screwed up my cord on my headset so sorry to go on go once more okay so if we go if we make a merit ledge here they they need Elvish Spirit Guide and yeah. Crop Rotation. Yeah. Otherwise, we I can't. agree. That's two cards. Um, if, if we go, if we find a maze of it, they only need one card. One more, not of this world. Yes. Yeah. Th this this game is actually. I mean, this leak has been insane. But but I also think like they already used a spirit guide and used a crop rotation. What's the problem? Yeah. So not only is it more. two cards, it's two of cards they already had. Yeah. So let's now just. Let's cross uh, rotate Tiger. Away. So I'm not I'm not a math teacher, but uh, I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna go for a dark depths, and then I'm gonna use uh, take advantage of the keyword indestructible, and then I'm yeah. gonna swing for lethal the other way. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do as well. The plays and the leveling with this deck is great. I can see why Albert is drawn to it. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I I can see the same. So go for crop rotation, copy it. Yeah. Oh no, no, go for dark depths, copy it. Right. Yeah. Yes, we copy Dark Depths now. You tap both mocks. And they didn't concede, so I'm scared. Yeah, you copy. Yeah, they didn't concede. Yeah. They I mean, they might have the nuts. If they have the nuts, this is the best game I've had ever. <laughs> now they concede it, yeah. That, well, it's still up there. It, the, the, this, this is beautiful. <laughs> Just trying. They, they had the turn to Pistol. Fizzle my activation, counter yeah. my Caracas activate. They forced us to have the nuts. That's but we had the nuts. Crazy. And the thing is, actually, our copying was a bit risky, right? Because if you think about it, how how would they? Why would <laughs> they ever do it that way? Yeah. So yeah. now I think we definitely side out Dark Depths. It's the <laughs> it's the worst card in this matchup. Uh, so down to one right because that yeah, might one. be a window. We do want one. Yeah, we do want one if we get the window like this. Then so go 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 look, I want to know if they had the second out of this world. So uh, yeah. what I do in these situations is just tell myself that they did. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I sleep so tight at night when I when I yeah. make those plays. I just assume that they had that one and I'm the cl most clever magic player in the world. With a little assistance, but it counts. So then Force of Vigor I would bring in... Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that's an easy swap. Probably Tabernacle is not good either. I don't think mm -hmm. Tabernacle does. I don't think they play creatures. Maybe they do actually. Maybe it's slow depths. I don't think so because they had not of this world. But again, like what else? Like drop of honey. The, the thing good. is, if they have like mindbreak trap, maybe if they would go like like mindbreak trap, you could hard cast sometimes. Okay, I'm not uh, entirely convinced, but. But like what spear, spear of resistance? Maybe. Yeah, that sucks. I hate I mean, it. They have you know sometimes, spirit guys. So, so. Sometimes I run whale of summer instead of mindbreak trap. That would have been nice here. Yeah, then then you have a bit more versatile card. It's a bit more. Uh, well, it's really yeah, good against this card. Yeah, general, for so. yeah for sure. But the, you talked about the philosophy before we started that you basically focused on mostly the super fast uh, unfair matchups, and then. Yeah. As a result, you just had, don't have that many, let's call it, like, solid, small upgrades here. No. Maybe we're uh, just supposed to have the second Dark Depths, that's card number 60. But what did you cut? Oh, you cut Tabernacle. I... Uh, yeah, why not? I think Dark Depths is probably better than, than Tabernacle. I don't think they play any creatures. Maybe they play Sylvan Safekeeper. Right. Uh, and then Tabernacle is kind of okay. Okay, uh, I'm actually down for that. Maybe they have like Dark Confidant and stuff. Yeah, maybe, but I don't think so. But yeah, usually like if they play creatures, they don't play not of this world. Right, uh, then you're kind of all in. Yeah. Yeah, we... But we have a lot of dead cards, but we also have a lot of good cards. Like Besaidu, I think, is insane in this matchup. Because... Yeah, I'm just going to submit here. I really don't know. Yeah, because think about it. Like, Besaidu, how, how do they beat that? They can't discard... Uh, Besaidu. They play four needles. 
Yeah, I guess that's true. I think the sign is good. Mm -hmm. Really good. <laughs> we're we are we're stepping up the opening yeah. hands game. Yeah. yeah. We've had some real hitters today. <laughs> okay, so they mulligan to six. Yeah. I guess we still kind of lose to to. Oh yeah, that's true actually. We do lose to um, discard turn two. Like now, dark depths uh, okay. hex. I'll take it. I guess they yeah. have to play hex mage, of course. Yeah. So now I. Th oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so question: Do we play Ursa Saga or Richard and Port? So we we how do we lose? We lose to Dark Depths plus Hex Mage, right? I think if we tap them and prolong the game, we're in a fine situation. Yeah, it at least gives us more draw steps to draw away. Yeah, and yeah, I would do that. Yeah, so I would Mox Pitch uh, Forest probably, and then Richard and Port. Yeah, and then we tap. So at least we're not dying this turn now. Yeah, I think generally that's a dangerous way to play, but I but I actually think it's fine to But we our average draw will probably be better than Oh okay, it's a stifle version. Okay. So that's fine. Why did they yeah. take one damage? That was a mistake. They took one damage because they didn't read the last line of text. The Jukabok. Right. No loaming? No loaming, yeah. And there's even... No, there's not an argument for... Is there an argument for, for using Force of Vigor here? And then Vigor, port. and then... Port. Yeah, I mean, I think loam looks... Ah, maybe loam... Does that deck play Wasteland? No. Well, one. No? They play one Wasteland. Then maybe if we kill this one and keep their mana under pressure... Then we can win with Saga in the meantime. Yeah, because Is Saga, that insane? Only, Saga only needs to reach chapter three for it to be really good, right? Because then we can find like Caracas. Uh, I would probably do that. Yeah, I think uh, like the scary this next turn is scary, right? Because if we survive this turn, we get Saga to three chapters or, or three. Yeah, and then our yeah, and then we probably. I, I think I think this play is good because maybe we can still easily lose. We lose to like a crop rotation here. We also lose to like depths hex mage. I I I realize that, but I don't think that life from Malone is gonna be very useful this game, and I don't think vigor gets better from here. Okay, so we didn't. Okay, okay. So they didn't have a crop rotation. We were lucky there. So now. I would probably cast Bog here, just to get the mana next turn. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. nice. Oh, okay, so loam would have been nice. No, okay. Oh, okay, it didn't get destroyed. Hey, <laughs> went to zero. Yeah, this is uh. Yes, I would. I would just play out my hand here. Don't you think that makes sense? So boom, boom, boom. Tap yeah. their land. Yeah. Why not? I mean. If we draw, if we draw like a, a life from the loam, it's really good. Yeah. So interesting. Why? Okay. So they did that. Now we tap. I guess we tap the uh, green source. Yeah. <laughs> Opponent really isn't reading the cards. It's uh, very, very possible that buying one turn is not worth it. There. I agree. So what is this? Wow. Okay. So oh, nice. Oh, well, not nice, but uh, nice that we didn't die last turn. Okay, so I guess here we can tap and make a construct. I guess that's fine. I don't understand this game. I think I feel like I many times today, I've uh, just been puzzled what's going on. <laughs> did, did did we play against like? I think you need less... to keep that. You need to keep that. Uh, but, le but less. Uh, I I I think we take the damage here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't want to trade off. <laughs> no, this we don't is want just... to cast endurance either. Endurance yeah. is really, but actually buys us a turn because again, block merit ledge. Yeah. Uh, so th so this 
spell bomb is going to be very very nice okay so now I would make it I would uh, yeah I would tap yeah I would probably tap mox port doesn't mox matter anymore mox and bog I would tap are you sure port is very bad no, okay port yeah okay fine port and bog yeah So what what do you say we're going for here? Map, don't you think? Right. Map and then yes, attack. Do you want to like put a Caracas on the field now and pass? Uh, we could, but we don't have to, right? Like, I think we just need to keep two mana up. Well, but the thing is, if we at some point, we will have to do it. For instance, next turn, if they play out one of the combo lands, then we can kind of uh, save mana by doing it now. Yeah, we save mana by doing it now, but also we um, lose to their one of Wasteland. Yeah, but they only have one card in hand, so if they need answer plus put together the combo, I yeah. think we just win with like yeah, playing out the... Yeah, I agree. Out the... Don't, I think... shrink our constructs by doing it, but... By doing it, but yes, I agree. We do. I, I think it's okay because we free up mana. We could also find a wasteland, can't we? No. I think they play like stifle. The the last card could be a stifle actually. Okay. Uh. But I guess that's fine. If they have stifle, that's fine. They would stifle now then. Okay, they didn't have stifle. Right. So Caracas, Don't you think Caracas is the better one? Yeah, because yeah, I think so, yeah. Caracas, if, if they draw Needle, we're more likely to draw one of the four Wastelands? Yeah, let's do that. Caracas is fine. Isn't that like the main argument? Uh, that you, you, you le if they have a Needle as an answer, mm -hmm. then we yes. have four copies of Wasteland in the deck instead of one Caracas in the deck to find. Yeah, but if we, yeah, that's true. I think that's fine, yeah. I, that's good reasoning. And I think they're dead in two swings. No. Well, that, we're going to cast Endurance next turn, right? And kill this. I think they're pretty dead. They need it. They need... They, yeah, they, they will see two more cards, right? Just make sure you don't give your opponents enough life to survive a Marital Age hit. Yeah, in, the, in the, this game we're all about uh, disrupting their merit Lage and winning with, let's call it, uh, chip damage. Um, yeah. I think this yeah. this matchup is all about not losing. This is how this is how you need to approach this from lands. I feel like game one, I could just feel all the hair growing out of my chest by winning that insane game. I mean, yeah. game one in this match was just crazy. I mean, but that, this is. I, I bet. Yeah. I remember where where I was when I uh, when I became a man. That was uh, game game one of uh, match five in this <laughs> league. That was insane. That's when I became a man. But these those type of games are the only ones you lose against this when they have the turn two with some protection. Like I th I think the games that goes long, it's very unlikely that I lose because we yeah. have so many we have so many um, good cards. Right, like it's just it, it all goes about like putting up the layers and layers of defense until it just gets to state where we can't lose, and they don't sure. have any card advantage, so they don't have any way to really get back. Um, yeah, that that's why Ursa Saga is kind of like a cheaty card because if you manage to not die, then that card will just win automatically, and it's a freaking land drop. <laughs> yeah, and it's a one like it's a one off, right? It's not like stage plus depth because that that actually. Like it puts you back to resources. Saga puts you like even like it's a three yeah. for one, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a stupid yeah. card. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's it's probably maybe the most powerful card in Legacy in, on just pure power. Yeah, and just imagine I play a lot of vintage. Just imagine the card in vintage. Yeah, in vintage, you imagine, make yeah. bigger constructs and you you find more broken things. Yeah, I can it's, imagine uh, in vintage it must be really good. Yeah, it's 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 insane. But I wonder, is it played in in uh, stacks? Or yeah, yeah. It's yeah. also nice you call it stacks. But yeah, workshop strategies play that card as well. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's also really good in eight cost in Legacy. It's yeah, for sure. <laughs> really, really good. 
And that deck is also really good, actually. I'm not sure if you played it. I, 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 think... I played it I played it in a few tournaments. I think my build wasn't very good, and I didn't play it that much, so actually I don't have much to say other than I'm scared when I'm playing against Meltdown every second round, and I'm scared of mulliganing yeah. with a deck like that. The crit, having the critical mass of cheap stuff, um, yeah. so you can power out the more I mean, expensive things. They have things. a lot of bad cards, but but they, I mean, when they have a good hand, I would play this out. Yeah. When they have a good hand, it, it feels really, really. Do we? Don't we just uh, punishing fire this uh, spirit guide and attack? So by punishing firing, nah, I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to. Okay. Well, just attack then. I guess we do we we're gonna cast endurance now, right? So we got, next turn we're gonna get him for nine. So if they don't block here, they are it's dead. It's a bad, turn. just a just a bad block. But if do they I, block, they are dead now. Not do I dead, right? do I port? Maybe you I might port. Might as well. You might as well. Yeah. Maybe maybe port that one. Yeah. I don't think we can lose. No, I know we can't. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good place to be. I don't think we can lose. I just. Uh, I have you on tape saying we can't lose. But this game we can't lose. Right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that was that was strange. Game one was awesome. Game th that game was. Uh, yeah, uh, that wasn't worth writing. But writing it was kind about. of interesting. So we uh, even though we put three endurance main, the one match we lost was reanimate. Uh, yeah, but I think. Endurance also, is it's not like you. It was a five-card hand we played against insane draws. I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying it's a that, hedge card. It's not crushing it, any matchup. It's a hedge but card. But it, it kind of proves my point, or at least it strengthens my point that we we can move sideboard cards to the main. Uh, oh, I, I think so for sure. I think endurance is just serviceable across the board, and then sometimes yeah. it's not. Sometimes it's the nuts. Yeah. Sometimes it lets you because if you didn't have them here you would all of a sudden need to remove three cards over here and then yeah. as a result become less well-rounded i would call it yeah yeah and then sure you can spell play i i've seen i mean i haven't followed you closely on your list but i know you've been playing like value cards different kind of value cards in the mm -hmm. past b depending on which like deck you want to focus on beating this week or that week mm -hmm. or whatever um but yeah i i generally agree that except that those are not going to be Super favorable matchups anymore, but then at least you, yeah. I mean, focus your percentages on the unfair matchups, which yeah. can be quite demotivating to lose to time after time. Um, I mean, yeah, I, and, I like uh, that a lot. Yeah, and if you like in any of these matches, like Sylvan Library, maybe would have been good against the Pox deck, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, for sure, for but sure. The rest it was kind of like, yeah, okay. All right, but actually, I I kind of have to drop off now because it's yeah yeah yeah. I mean, just just quickly, thank you so much. Where can people find you if they want to learn more yeah. about Lance? I know you so like a little a, bit of YouTube. I know you like yeah. a little bit of Twitter. So I have I have a twit I have a YouTube channel which is Albert Lindblom, and mm -hmm. then I have Twitter which is Ali underscore on underscore MTGO, mm -hmm. uh, and then the Lance Discord. That's that's the best yeah, the... to find me. The Lance Discord. That's also pretty cool. So how do you get into that? It's just if they just shoot you a mes message on, yeah, on Twitter, um, I can give them an invite. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I really like these um, discords where you like specialize, and all you do is like devote time, and everybody like tests different stuff, comes back, and maybe you guys get better together. That's how I focus uh, yeah. see it anyway. That you can kind of. Make